adventurers previously on dragon of ice spire peak our adventurers were in the town of fandolin when they came across another adventurer by the name of remy longshot remy had a dark and mysterious past having formerly served in a militia uh, after taking an injury to the head he was knocked unconscious and when he awoke he did not know who he was or anything about his past he did however have Three children with a wife whom uh, decided to mend him uh, after his injury. Those children being named Tommy, Timmy, and Tammy uh, so happened to be the acolytes that were slain by our heroic party. <laughs> after learning this news, I'm Remy decided to please. yeah, Remy decided to join the heroes in their attempt to track down the mysterious dark mage named Tethys. Ooh, Tethys. Oh, wait, does, does Remy know the... Oh, he knows. Does Remy he know? knows the truth now after no Rogar thanks. could not take the <laughs> pressure and had to tell Remy of the murders. Wait, 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 wait. Did, did, did I really do that? Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, it was a good video. You gotta catch it up. Oh, God. Uh, after they decided to join forces, they sought out Haggis Ironbane to start the militia for Fandolin. Um, Proxus also commissioned him to stuff a manticore head for him. Um, Haggis decided to, or agreed to help form the militia. And when they left Vandalin, they recruited Dazlin and Balin, uh, the dwarves they rescued from the dwarven excavation site, to join the militia, which they hard, happily did so. Um, after that, they decided to head to the loggers' camp. Uh, on route to the loggers' camp, our adventurers came to this forest. And this scene you see before you. Adventurers, what do you wish to do? I think that's my old unit. We gotta get in there. I gotta them. All right. Everyone roll initiative. Can please roll it by your character. <laughs> so 19 for Remy and Rogar. Yeah, I just rolled a d20. I, 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 I think I still need to import my character sheet into this. 13 for, for 14 for... Who rolled for 14? Uh, Moon has a 14. And then 13's Ka uh, Proxus, 12 is you. I had 15. Uh, Proxus is 15. Zorber is 13. My familiar is also 15 after Proxus. Actually, it's 19. To be technical, you're... Do we do we go by the uh, do we go by the bonus or the main dice roll? What wins if you get a tie? With you the go by your oh, excuse me, Dex modifier. So modifier I think... Okay. So Chris would go before the. I believe so. All right. So Zorbert's last, right? Or is that the familiar? No, the familiar goes before me. I'm last. Okay. So you boys, having surprised these enemies, get to go first. Why's the order screwed up? I just oh, lost it. Gotcha. Remy Longshot, you are up. What do you wish to do? All right, I'm gonna shoot the big guy with the club right at his uh, hand. Can you reach him? What's the... Um, 150 out of 600 for a longbow. Eight <clears throat> tiles, that's... How many? Five? Yeah. I have... It, 
I have 150 out of that's, 600 range. That's 60 feet. So you're you're fine. Yeah, longbow's got some range in it. Make an attack. So. I hit the hit or the damage? The hit to hit. Okay, eleven. Eleven misses. Pew. <laughs> Where was your sharp shooting this time? <laughs> I mean, it all or nothing. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> Do you have Look. a bonus action? Uh, or a move. It's a warning shot. Yeah, all you, you can move or bonus action. Yeah. You can move in and out of cover and stuff like that. Uh, too. Just, it just says bonus actions to weapon fighting. Okay. Okay, so you're not in range. And so opportun opportun opportunity attack. So you can move in and out of cover, too. It's so like behind bush, trees, all that stuff. I'll just sit here. Okay, hey, Rogar, you're up. Um, we said he was what, like sixty feet away? Yep. Yeah, the big one. <clears throat> All right, I'll move. I'll advance forward. One, two, three, four, five. <coughs> I see what thirty. Um, what thirty-five yards from me? Yeah. Let's see. I will cast. I will cast feet from you. Yeah, I don't think I can reach him with what I wanted to hit him with, so I'll do this instead. You you guys do see the other two, right? The one yeah. right in front of me, right? Yeah, I'm just yeah. yeah, just making sure you guys saw the other ones. Yeah. Yeah. I'll cast a shield of faith on myself. So okay. this is one bonus action. Concentration ten minutes. Shimmering field appears and surrounds a creature of your choice within range, granting it plus two bonus AC to the duration. So, so it's concentration. So you can't like attack or anything. No, if I take damage, I need to do a con saving throw to maintain. Oh, my okay, damage. right. Okay, to maintain your concentration. Okay. So that's my bonus action, and then for my action, I'll do. Uh, I will equip my shield. And my mace. Okay. So you see Rogar's hands kind of signal and a blue flickering shield envelops him as he draws out his sword, or his mace and his shield. Proxis, you're up. <clears throat> Excellent. I swipe at this thing's loincloth region. Okay, make an attack roll. Your sword's now brown and smelly. <laughs> <laughs> it does no damage. <laughs> 13 hits. Roll damage. What a weakling. I expend superiority die to do tripping attack. Okay, you'll have to explain to me what that does. It is... I gotta refresh my memory as well. I just know I want to do it. Uh, when you hit with a weapon, you expend one die. Add to the total to the damage roll. If the target is large or smaller, it must make a strength saving throw. 13. Okay, go ahead. No, you have to roll. Oh. Strength saving. 15. Bleh. All right, so it's just damage then? Bummer. You didn't roll rolled. right. Yeah. What? I'm fine. Hmm. Oh, I probably, duh, yeah, I could have added that. Idiot. 15 Is that damage. right? Yeah, 15 damage. Okay, so you slash your greatsword against its back, and it howls a bit, and you see a clear line of blood etched on its back, and it turns to face you, rather infuriated. Bitch! Is that it? That's my turn. 
You don't have a bonus action, or was that tripping thing your bonus action? No, nah, it's just a on attack. Okay. Hooter. 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 You can make it flying too, Kyle, if you want to suspend it in the air. You can't? Yeah. Doesn't Harry's, uh... Hang on, maybe I have to do it? Don't you right-click it and hit, like, float or something? Yeah. Right-click. <laughs> Enable flying. There you go. Look at it go. Does it peck? No. What does it do? I'm on a tree. <laughs> What's it do? Just put him by here to distract okay. this. To distract this guy. So okay. Chris's next turn, he can attack with advantage. Does the ogre or get disadvantage? Ah. Uh, That'd be broken. I'm just a familiar. It's apparently one of the most broken things in the game. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Uh, I will look that up as other characters are going. Okay, you. Moon. Your... Wait, wait, wait. Oh. No, that was just the familiar. What the fuck yeah, are yeah, you yeah. doing? <laughs> He's like, no, don't. Dangerous. Do we have another cheetah? What was that bird's name? You know what happens to cheetahs. Yeah, bring in the... But put up and flank the big guy! Yeah, kill oh, him. Not that, not it's that, just the uh, familiar. He didn't name it? No. Maybe we yeah, will later. Yeah. Hooter. <laughs> Hooter. All right, go ahead and roll an attack, Moon. Oh yeah, pre it's a pregnant owl. Yeah. Damn. Ooh, that's a miss. <laughs> Almost a uh, beat yourself up. All right, but I will use my key energy, <coughs> and then cast flurry of blows. Okay. Roll another attack. That hits. Roll damage. damage. Hold on, I'm looking at it. So it's two strikes, but this will be the first hit. Seven damage. Okay. And then... I believe I have to roll... Hit twice. Okay, roll an attack again. Like, I don't, yeah, I don't think it's, like, two strikes as much as 14. That hits. Okay, and then... And these are with oh. your fists, right? Yep, so then another eight points of fist damage. Okay. Ooh, and yeah. while the second strike, I use my open hand technique. So the creature will fall prone if it does not beat a dex... Or a dex saving throw, DC 13. Okay. So that's on you. 17. Damn. All right. Okay, so you you run up to this ogre uh, and you just launch your, your, your quarterstaff at him and he somehow dodges it, but then you uh, punch him twice in his thick, leathery skin. And although it is thick skin, you, you seem to find some kind of damage and he howls in pain, clutching his ribs momentarily. Heck yeah. All right, Zorbut. Oh, Duncan! Well, I Moon mean, just threw oh, what I was gonna do, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, split up? <laughs> uh, the tactical advantage that we would do would probably be to kill one first, but we'll go with your plan. Uh, I guess I will just cast a magic missile. Okay. You're gonna damage. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oops. And four. Okay. So three magic missiles shoot out of your fingertips and slam into the ogre in front of Chris. And, uh,. He seems, you know, it seems like to cause him a lot of pain, but he's he's not very much affected by it. 
Yeah. Is that your turn, friend? Yes. Okay, so now it is this fellow's turn. He is going to make a crossbow attack at the giant. Uh, let's see. Crossbow. Okay, that is a miss. So he shoot, try, attempts to shoot the giant with his crossbow, and it, it whips by his ear and plunks into the tree between Zorbert and Proxus. Like something this nasty the most, right there. This is the most agile, extra large creature I've ever seen. Both <laughs> archers missed. Okay, he's, he's a he's a freshling, never seen combat. <laughs> So this ogre is going to make an attack on you, Christopher. Bring it. A ten. Miss. Oh, and I'm going to repost that shit. So he slams his great club down at you. Uh, and you, you deftly dodge aside and take no damage at all. But you do I'm, see a, a pretty massive crater in the ground where you once stood. So I'm going to you go ahead and make your repost. Post. Yeah. Oh, wrong dice. Ignore. Uh, plus six on this. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Roll damage. Big damage. Can you crit on the post? You can crit on. I that. mean, it's just an attack. All right. If you roll natural twenty for attack, you crit. Yeah, every time. I'm going to re-roll the twos. Okay. It evened <laughs> out exactly. <laughs> so what was the total? Uh, hold on, I gotta see if I roll a superiority done repost. I can't remember. And add that. Where is it? Where is it? How many dang <laughs> dives do you roll? Jeez. What the heck is it? Damage, though. Isn't the superiority die a damage? Uh, it's like additional damage. There it is. Uh, you can use your reaction, expend one die, add superiority. Okay. So, and then I don't know if I. I think it only gets added to the total. I don't. Um, I don't roll two of these or whatever. Okay, so what is that? Four, <laughs> nine. I rerolled the twos. Uh, it didn't change, right? Yeah, so, it should just keep your yeah, two yeah, yeah. So, totals plus the. That's 21, 26? 26, 26, right? Yeah, 26. Okay. OP. Meta. 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 <laughs> Rogar, did you see that meta? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so as he slams his club down and uh, impacts the ground, you definitely step aside and you backhand, in one hand, your greatsword and cut uh, his arm from his elbow down is just severed completely. Mm. And he's just standing there holding his bloody stump, but still alive. I completely forgot about the bird. You didn't need oh, it yeah. anyway. I know, yeah. I didn't need it, but... That's on your next actual... That was just you defending yourself. Yeah. But that, but I made an attack off of it, and I'm, uh, do you advantage on those as well? Uh, we, we could say no, just to be I'm more a, fair about it, I yeah, guess. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so the the gentleman, uh, this... this uh, Armored figure with the shield is going to attack this Etten now. Or this giant, I mean. Looks like an Etten to me. <laughs> <laughs> you look at it, it's holding the nuts. Eh? So he's he's gonna uh, attack with his great sword. What if it's a good guy? 
No, oh God, I'll never trust him again. Okay, so that misses. We're beating up a nun Terrigan right now. Again. Yeah, what if what if there's magic <laughs> involved here again? Ooh, that hits. Okay. So he swipes at the giant's foot, and a big uh, he, he does a massive gash on the foot, and it's just bleeding profusely. What's the bleed damage? Uh, there's no bleed damage, it's just a description. Mm. Okay, so that's his turn. What are you historically rolling about? No, he's I believe, just... I believe that's an Etten, not a giant. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were you are correct. <laughs> I thought you were rolling PTSD. Uh, yeah, I don't yeah. know if I can do this. What if they're my students? <laughs> uh, they're all my students. <laughs> <laughs> so this infantry man is gonna approach and make an attack. Ooh, a natural one. <gasps> what a loser. So he's, he rolls an attack, uh, but being on the sledge, he overcompensates and falls and is knocked prone. Roxas' old teammates are trash. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now it's this ogre's turn. He is going to turn and make an attack on Moon. Dodge time. Ninja dodge, ninja dodge. Look, he's fighting by mushrooms. Now we know why he went over there. 12. Ninja dodge. Ninja dodge. Ninja dodge. Okay. I don't have a cool He's not going to move. He's going to stay right there. So that's not his turn. That's the end of his turn. So now, uh, Chris, who you... Can you see? Yeah, so you can see this is Sergeant Salomon, and he's going to make an attack on the Etten. Gray Fox! Oh, that is a sick morning star. Yep. He's going to do so much damage with that. Okay, so he is going to make an attack. So he rears his morning star back. And tries to swipe it at the shin of this beast, but he he barely misses. So on the he's gonna return the morning star back to its position and make another attack. This time it hits. And you see the morning star crunch into the the Atten's shin. And you see splinters of bone fly out. And then he's gonna rear back and make one more attack. Ooh, natural one! So he is going to, uh, himself, he's going to overcompensate a little bit, uh, having spent uh, too much energy on that second blow. And he is going to fall, and he is going to be knocked down prone as well. Oh. Rogar was about to make a sly little comment, but I'm going to wait until my turn's over before I do that. It, it looked like bone shards, went in his, bone shards went in his visor. Okay, now, Chris, you can see that it's Private Wilson up that is going to attack this oh, Atten. Sure. Oh, my boy! What's Haggis Iron Man doing here? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he is going to... So you see him shout and, and uh, scream a, a loud, barbaric howl, and... Uh, you can just see the rage brimming, and he is going to make an attack with his great axe. And it hits. So he swipes at the, the same shin that was battered by his comrade here, and uh, he finds some purchase with his weapon and, and takes a nice chunk of skin off. But the Etten seems like he's still fine. 
Now it is this guy's turn. See this robed figure back here. He I don't recognize robed. him. He's just gonna. No one's really. So he's actually gonna hold his axe. He prays. He's going to cast Cure Wounds on his first one of his party members that will be injured. Okay, now it's Big Boy's turn. So he is going to see that this poor fellow down here is knocked prone. And he is going to attack him. Why are you rolling two dice? What do you mean? What are those two damage dice? Is it advantage? Is it advantage for prone? Yeah. Huh. Didn't need it. Well, why? What's his damage? What weapons he using? He's using. So you see him uh, making it. He he lifts the uh, the uh, mace. So he, in this. He's got a mace and an axe in each hand. You just can't see it because this model shit. Um, he rises, uh, raises the mace up and slams it on this poor bloke here on the ground. And... Hold on one second. All the dice he's rolling right now. Okay, so the, he raises the, the mace up first and slams it on this guy on the ground. And you just basically see his body shatter before the axe comes down and cuts him in half. And this poor fella is deceased. <gasps> Instantly, like, total dead? Instantly dead. Oh, oh! This is fun. Okay, so that is his turn. No, I will be... Fella's turn. I'll be right back, guys. If I'm not back by my turn, just attack this guy in front of me. Leave the corpses when they're dead. Okay. <clears throat> we'll forget about them and then not RP off them. Oh, what the hell? Okay. Oh my god. His body flew into the air like in Skyrim. <laughs> Just okay, like so the this, this fellow behind uh, this dwarf with the loot pulls the loot from his back and just starts singing a battle ballad. And you see the the people around him kind of bolster their resolve, and uh, they they now have advantage on all of their attacks. Let's see I I didn't hear his song quite clearly. <laughs> I didn't hear his song. I said, it's time to kill the Epton boys. Ho, ho, ho. I, don't know. <laughs> I thought you were going to sing like, Watermelon Sugar. <laughs> oh, I don't know any of that shit. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't reach any of you guys. Um, okay, Remy, you're back up, friend. All right, I'm going to try the shot. Same shot again. On the Etten? Big, big guy, yeah. Okay. Don't you have blinding? Uh, he's useless. Oh, shit. All right, yeah, I got nine, so. Okay. 
Okay, so after Remy takes a shot and the arrow whizzes by, you guys hear a commotion behind Remy. <laughs> as four goblins come out of the woods uh, behind Remy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you better get moving. <laughs> All right, so I have. You can uh, still make a movement. Right, multi, I, sh multi shot. <laughs> you can break. You can also I break can line of sight and still. Interact with an object, or let me see. If I can hide, I'm gonna. You're getting a bush. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, get in that bush. I'm gonna Rip. hide behind the tree right next to uh, Zorbert if I can make it there. Okay. So here to. Yeah. You could even go in that bush right there. Yeah. What, what's your move? That's 25, so you're good there. Yeah. I hope Zorbert burning hands those things. Okay, Rogar, you're up. Oh, sorry, I was muted. Rogar hears the goblins, sees Remy running and sliding out of their sight, and I go, Ah, see, Remy! <laughs> and you <know>? I, <laughs> I... I look over to the goblins, and they're about, what, 60 feet away-ish? Measure. Yeah. 50 feet. 50, 50. Per perfect, perfect. Okay. I'm going to cast. So this should hit all of them, but they're arranged such. such sleep. So I'm going to use my bonus action to drop my mace and my shield to the ground. And I'm going to cast. Shatter! I'm gonna do some verbal. I wanna say, and make some cool hand gestures. Yes. And I'm gonna roll. Okay, so I need all of the four Gobudin to make a Constitution saving throw. Okay. And they need to beat a 13. If they fail it, they take half damage. Ten for one. You mean if they uh if they make the save? Seven yeah. for one. Sorry, so sorry, yeah, yeah. If they make oh, okay. they pass the save, they uh they take half. Ten for one. Oh, perfect, perfect. One more. And ooh, natural twenty for the other oh, one. Shit. All right, well, he will take half. And then I will I will cast I will use my um let me just go over here real fast. My Thingamabobber. So before I roll the damage, in, in lieu of rolling damage, rather, I will channel my divinity, Destructive Wrath. I can deal maximum damage instead of rolling for lightning or thunder damage. So I'll do 3d8, so that's 8, 16, 24 to three of the goblins, and then 12 to the other. Holy sh**, dude. <laughs> Boom! Oh, <laughs> how much total? Twenty-four to the three goblins that failed the saves, and then twelve to the one that did pass uh, with a nat twenty. Okay, so they all just crumple under the might of your divine wrath. <laughs> and, uh, they are just utterly obliterated. <laughs> God, Rogar, they're probably students. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. You just see Zorbert quivering. <laughs> okay, so after seeing that, Zorbert, uh, you have inspiration. <laughs> That's sad. Same, same with you, Remy. You have a uh, point of inspiration now, too. But I'm in a fetal position. <laughs> <laughs> He's inspired to study his dead students. Is that, that was your turn, right, Ma? I can actually use a movement now, so I will actually, I'll move towards the, uh, and I could stop. Wait, wait, where, I thought that 
I'm just gonna throw this. I thought that an equipment change. It's a bonus action. Was, it is a bonus action. Okay, I thought it was a full action. Well, no. Change. Actually, is your mace and shield sitting on the ground right now? Sheathing, sheathing and unsheathing is a um, bonus action. Yeah. Oh, they 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 are on they are on the ground. You're right. So maybe I don't want to move up to the ogre. Well, why, <laughs> why don't we just say that you sheathed instead of dropped them? <laughs> because he said he dropped them. Yeah, so you're right. Because <laughs> it was more cool to drop them. You're right. <laughs> I agree. I agree. It added to the drama. Yeah. I was like, okay. you know, I was like an earthbender and avatar. Anyways, uh, I'll just have my turn. Okay, Christopher, you're up. Seeing that this thing still has its loincloth. I make an attack roll. Okay, roll an attack. That hits. Roll damage. The damage button, of course, didn't work. Okay, how do you want to kill that ogre? Oh. Um, well, first I do my first slash to remove its loincloth. Oh, he's completely naked, and you see an overly sized horse ogre dick flop out in front of you. Knowing its weak, central weak point, I swipe aggressively at its wiener. Okay, you sever that ogre sausage right off, oh my and God. He, he just cannot fathom a worse death as he falls over dead, not only from physical pain, but sheer embarrassment. Oh. It's man. It's man. <laughs> I do a run over here. Okay. And then I say to the men, good to see you boys up and at it. And ending my turn. Okay. Familia. Hooter <laughs> uses, uses his talons to pick up the severed wiener. <laughs> He's gonna flop it in its face, isn't he? And flies it over here, <laughs> trying to drop it on this ogre, but drops it on Moon's circular hat. <laughs> hat. I thought you were going to flop it around in its face. <laughs> he throws it at the ogre. Okay, roll... Uh... He, he, um, it's just him. <clears throat> Wait, oh, okay. I just heard the I heard the owl just now. What? Roll intimidation. It said, how do you do? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he throws the ogre wiener at this other ogre. Yeah. And this ogre catches it in his mouth. <laughs> okay, Moon, you're okay. Oh, I didn't get frightened. He ate it. Mmm. Yeah. I was gonna I was gonna taxidermy that. <laughs> You'll have to cut the ends off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Hope you got fifty pounds of encumbrance. <laughs> I do. All right, I continue to attempt to pummel, pummel the guts of this ogre in front of me. Okay, go ahead. While, while he's chewing on a wiener. So, 15 for quarterstaff. Ogre. Uh, that hits. Okay, I... Damage with quarterstaff is a 7. Okay. And then I follow up with another flurry of blows using a key point. How many key points do you have? Three at this point. For every long rest? Uh, key points are short rest. So okay. I can basically do this every battle. Right. Uh, 23 for the first flurry. I wonder if I have to roll it twice. After you take... To make two unarmed strikes as a... That's what I'm doing. That's the same for my superiority to short you rest. Have to roll it. You have to roll attack the attack dice twice, or do I get to hit just twice? Do you know, Chris? For what, flurry of blows? Like how the, 
It's like you do two one armed attack strikes. Okay, so I would roll it. Two separate, oh. yeah. Okay. So the first strike hits and it does eight damage. And then the second strike. 11. Okay. Does that hit? That hits. Oh, dang. And then using the way of the fist, I will again attempt with my with my flat blow to the stomach to knock the wind out of the ogre and make him prone. That's a dex save? 13. Yep. Ooh, a one. Oh! A one. Just a one. Okay. So he goes prone from my gut strike. Okay. And how much damage was it total? Oh, sorry. The two flurries, you already got the quarter staff, right? Yes. Uh only one of no, both they both of them hit. It was eight and six, the fourteen. Okay. So yep. he you uh hit him with this staff and uh in the arm and you just see him howl in pain and then you flurry of blows him right in the gut and you somehow uh knock the wind out of him and he crumples to the ground in a prone position. Zorbert. Oh. He's so inspired. Look at him. Oh. Hold up. Did did he keep the wiener in his mouth during his prone fall? Oh, no, he swallowed it. A prone wiener. Like a like a pickled sausage that oh. thing went down. <laughs> I will call on my path of wizardry. Okay. Um, I will cast the cantrip fireball. Firebolt? Ball. Fireball. Bolt. Firebolt. Yeah, I think Bolt's Jesus, the cantrip. I hope it's Firebolt. Bolt. It's just a D10, I think. 1D10? Yeah, that's yeah. Firebolt. Mm. That's instant damage? Ye I, ba -da -ba 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 I might have to roll to hit. Am I just confused that? That was my bad. Let me see. Wait, is the 20 a... what decides the spell? Oh, uh, that probably just didn't even hit then. No, that misses. Yeah, the Wait. 20 decides the spell. Oh. It doesn't do the hit, too? No. What's it called? Hat of Wizardry? Yeah. I want to look at it, too. I was curious about your hat. Now, so it says it reads, if the check fails, so does the spell. So I'm assuming that it's also the attack roll. If that's what it says, yes. My opinion. If the check succeeds, you cast the spell. That's what it yeah. says. Get him, get him, get him. Yeah, so I cast the spell. Yeah. Which means it what? hits. It's a to hit spell, so I'd have to roll to hit after I cast it. So I roll the d20. I beat the 10 DC so that I could use my cantrip so my spell doesn't fail. So I cast it, but it still has to hit because it's a to hit spell. Okay. Yeah, I guess I could read it. I can read it both ways. Yep, I see that. So I would say it hits. Um, 13, oh. so you did 9 damage. Alright, I did 9 damage. Yeah. You, were, you, were, you were saying it didn't hit, Chris was saying it did hit, yeah. I would say it's like, damage. he can do it once, it's not like he can do it every turn. Or yeah, every... It's, it's using a special item, so, it's, that's, yeah, that's more than fair. Okay, is that your turn, or are you going to cast your another spell? I can't cast another spell. So that's your turn. I think, because that would be, uh... That's an item, action. right? Action used, so yeah. Uh -huh. I can... so okay. So seeing you guys attack this ogre, this guy is going to attack it as well, thinking that it's pretty weak by now. Can I, can I pause real fast? Yes. Just to make sure Kyle, 
if you casted the item, use the item as your action, you might still be able to use a cantrip bonus action spell if you have one. Uh, if I had one, yes, I don't. Okay, gotcha. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Ooh, the, the arrow misses. Flies right by this ogre. <laughs> that guy sucks. Wait, does it fly near me? Can I use my catch missile and then no, throw it at the ogre? No, not even get near <laughs> you at all. That'd be sick, dude. <laughs> I'm waiting for someone to shoot me so I can catch it like a ninja okay, and throw it back. Dead. Did you attune that hat? What does that even mean? It means that it? he can actually use it. Oh, yeah. So match this knight is going to use his turn to stand back up. I slept with it as my underwear last night it's attuned as i was looking at it they just said it requires a tune whatever that means i don't know but it's a tune so you, you can only attune to three magic yeah. at a time but you can unattune right yeah oh, okay i think attunement is up to the individual Ooh, natural 20. son moon. of a bitch why do i always die yeah moon's dead no fair he gets to make like 30 characters Yep, new character. What, you, what should I be this No one? fair, he died. <laughs> I, have a couple, I have a couple. So the first one is 14. Alright. See you, Moon. <laughs> the first one is 14. <laughs> and the next one is 15. What's that? Uh, 29? 29. Yep. You should, you should be fine. That would have knocked me. <laughs> Is he dead or is he breathing? Uh, he's incapacitated. Excellent. Oh, moon. Okay, now Sergeant <laughs> Salomon is going to attack again. Guys, I need the mushroom. It's in my bag. Guys, <laughs> get me the mushroom. Guys. Have some owl to give it to him. <laughs> Why didn't he use his inspiration to half oh the death? Oh my god, a natural one again. <laughs> Why are so we he goes, these losers? He goes to make an attack and he uh, completely biffs it. And uh, he's not going to get his second multi attack because of that, but he's going to attack for his third. Still. And a complete fucking whiff. <laughs> oh my god. It's the helmet. Now Private Wilson is going to attack. It's just like watching Nate play. Shooters. Got him. Got him. Okay, that hits. Okay, so you see uh, uh, Private Wilson hack at that same leg, uh, and you, you see just blood starting to spurt out that one leg. He's so angry. Okay. So this priest... Ooh. Ooh. What's the speed? 30. Someone's egg is done. He's gonna resurrect okay. Moon, isn't he? So he, uh, he, uh, seeing Moon fall in battle, he, uh, takes the far safer route by trying to go around the Etten 
Um, he's going to stop here for his movement, but he is going to cast Guiding Bolt. Didn't one of the guys in their group fall? Yeah, I got murdered. Yeah, though, like, totally yeah, got destroyed. Dang. Over, overkill. I got obliterated. Mm. He got what we called Serbiest. <laughs> Oh my god. I love that both you guys got murdered in that alley. <laughs> uh, was I supposed to look behind myself? Hiding bull. That's it. <laughs> how dirty that ogre's foot is. You Wait know that second. timer you heard? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> It's one of those super mutant suicide bombers from Fallout. <laughs> Wait, there's timers and you're taking this long? Can't no, I think we're about to take a trip to Whimsyshire. <laughs> that timer was for me to turn around and look behind myself. Wait, can do, they do bonus actions and move double their speed? What was that? Yes. Okay, so he's going to do that his enemies. instead. I hope it's not a timer for how long we take. No, I, I pause it. You're on the tree, just so you know. Oh, there you go. Okay, okay that's his turn. Now it's the Adam's turn. He turns and smacks the priest to the back. <laughs> oh, ground shook. Um... I'm not telling you. Is it? Is it? Yeah, don't tell. Don't tell him. Very, very long. Don't tell him. So I was gonna say, we might be, we might be in range of him. So he is going to swipe. He can. Usually, things like that can throw boulders too. Yeah. Let's kite him, boys. Let's kite him. Ooh, <laughs> natural one. Ooh. So he misses uh, this target here, and he is going to. Is that Take. a rock slingshot he's got in one hand? No, it's a thong. I thought it was a ball sack at first. So you see him slam his mace down, attempting to hit this knight in the middle here. Uh, but he somehow misses and hits his own foot on the leg that's already hurt, and he takes a little bit of damage. Now he's going to roll for the mace. In my head, I saw like a comedy show where he hits his own toe and starts jumping. Oh! 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 <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. So he slams the axe down at this knight, and you see this knight raise his shield uh, just in time to take the brunt of the damage, but he is still pushed down to his knees and almost knocked prone from the attack. Wait a second. When I died, did that dude stand up from prone? That he used his action to stand up, yes. No, he used half his movement. Well, same thing. Yeah. Okay. I can't remember how prone worked. I, for some reason, I didn't think he got to attack. So. Hold his hand. Okay. So, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> he's dead. Can we have one of the goblins, like, get zapped all the way onto, like, <laughs> Moon's face? How do I get rid of... Oh, there we go. He pops out. Okay. Surprise! So got this fixed. goblin is going to advance. I don't see them on the initiative board. I think they're I just had us. to add them. Same with this one. This one. Oh, there's a whole army coming. Yeah. This one. They're just goblins. One shot. And this one. They still eat up a turn. Yeah. Sure do. Whoa. Okay, I'm, Remy, you're I'm, up. I'm dead anyway, so. So I'm gonna move. How far can I move? I got 30 feet. Six so. tiles. Can, can I move then shoot? Yeah. yeah. Yes. So, right there. All right. 
Right next to the de-wienered... Yep. <laughs> okay. He's gonna hide underneath. The <laughs> loincloth? <laughs> yeah. He pretends to be a tweener. And I'm gonna try to finish off the, the guy with the boulder over him. Okay. Roll an attack. Get him. Get him right between the eyes. Get him. Save Moon. Revenge Moon. All right, 23. Ooh, that hits. Nice. Long Get him. Damage. Get him. Aren't, aren't you inspired? Isn't it double damage? Big deeps, big deeps. Big deeps. Six. Okay. Nice. Oh, yeah. He does have inspiration, doesn't he? So that's I a don't. 10. Yes, you do. Oh, I do? Yes. All right. So that means I could roll again if I use it. I roll damage? It, I don't know what it does. I don't yet. know what it does. Anybody know? <laughs> it's kind of up to the DM, I think. You attack. you get to pick. I think it's normally an advantage, but he already that's what I he already passed. You expend it when you make an attack roll, saving throw, or ability check. Spending your inspiration gives you an advantage on that roll. All right, so he's yeah, never mind. Okay, so your arrow uh, flies true and sinks right into the chest of the ogre, uh, piercing through and staying in the body, but the end of the arrow is sticking out his back, and he's looking really really rough right now. Okay, Rogar, you're up. All right. Um, obviously, I see he's looking really bad. Rogar, go save the moon. Can you hear me? I'll deal with okay. yeah. yeah, yeah, he's looking bad. He's looking real bad. All right. I I trust you, Zarbi. Be careful. And um, I'm going to run. <laughs> I'm coming. You know. Four. <laughs> I'm like on my way, you know. <laughs> That's, there you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is, um, oh, I got Moon. Uh, what happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> He's hallucinating. My hallucinations, my dreams. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> I'm gonna cast. Bertha, you're blocking spiritual. the light! <laughs> I'm gonna cast Spiritual Weapon on the Ogre. Okay. So, Spiritual Weapon is a one minute long duration bonus action spell. Okay. So, I'm gonna cast this and I'm, I create a floating spectral weapon within range that lasts for the duration or until you cast a spell again. When you cast a spell, you can take, you can make a melee spell attack against a creature within five feet of the weapon. On hit, it takes, you know, 1d8 plus your uh, ability modifier. Okay. Um, and then it takes a f the form of whatever I choose. I'm gonna have it take the form of Kyle's angry mage hand. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna make, make a, ba a big angry. Fist. Fist? Gonna, okay. I'm, I'm gonna try I'm I'm gonna so I'm gonna spawn it right next to the ogre and I'm gonna make a spell attack. So that it will be a That's a D twenty plus So does it have its own turn now? So does it have its own turn? I can use it as its as a bonus action to move and attack with it, basically, per oh, okay. turn. Okay. So yours. Per, yeah. So nine misses. So add five to that, because that's my uh, bonus. Oh, okay, that hits. Okay, so it hits. So I'll make a 1d8 plus three. So I'll do okay. a d8. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. That's five damage. Okay. So the, the, the spectral fist punches into the ogre, the, the extremely wounded ogre. And uh, he falls to, to uh, one knee to catch his breath, barely clinging to life. Ah, oh, fudge. All right. Does he have one uh, health? Uh, yeah, then I'll have to... I'll have to actually just... You know, sacred flame it now. Yeah, probably. Let me just make sure, because that was a bonus spell action. I can still cast a, a cantrip action, I believe. So I will do that. I will cast Sacred Flame on him. And that's a 1d8. Okay. So that's, okay. a, that's a dex 13 saving throw it needs to make. Oops, no. 
don't know what that was. Dex. Ooh, natural 20. Hmm. Rough. Bro, this guy's got two natty 20s. Well, he still only takes, what, half damage now? Or does it that he, negate all? He takes no damage if uh -oh. he passes. Yeah, that's... Trip. Damn. Rough. So you attempt to, to plead to your god for a light uh, flame spell, um, mm -hmm. but he just it, does not abide in this and he, in this, <laughs> this time. And he realizes that Moon's addicted to mushrooms and does not want to help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I okay. go, oh, Moon, I'm sorry. You're up, Christopher. Hey, Flanagan, can you... I brandish my sword wildly at the back of this thing's leg. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, make an attack. Fifteen hits. Roll right, damage. I imagine, I imagine Chris is just like a spinning blender. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Thirteen. Okay. <clears throat> you hack at the end's leg, and he doesn't seem to notice. <laughs> so much familiar. Um, he can't really do much. Hold familiar, hold try to tickle his armpit so he drops the bone in his head. No. What do you mean? That's an owl. It's got claws. Attack. 1d4. It can't attack. Yes, it can. 1d4. Got him. It's, it's a familiar, <laughs> not a summoned companion. He'll go do a help action for uh, Proxus. Okay. It just hooty hoots. Yeah. Can he can he do a help action on Moon? He cannot do a help action. I would think to stabilize someone. Okay. If I've read most of the stuff correctly. He could drop a healing potion on. He could do that, but um. So you have a one. No, no, no. I'm still incapacitated though. I can't. Use a I healing. Think a, I think a healing potion you could throw on your skin and it heals you. I uh, yeah. I thought it's not in my realm of knowledge. No, it know needs to be drunk. Oh, what a loser! All right, he's helping him. I will say, in Boulder's Gate Three, you can huck potions on people. I don't know. Yep. I, 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 I honestly think there's something to do with skin contact with it. Yeah, I think so. Too. You're right. Yeah, that's fine. They still need to be drunk. Think, think of it like. <laughs> <laughs> like Dead mouth contact. <laughs> yeah. It literally says drink this potion under the. I don't know what you're talking. I don't know <laughs> what you're saying. In the All book. Right. It's Moon's turn to. I just. Hey. I just said what I could do in a video game. Who left? Who left? Who left? Who left? Who left? Who left? Oh, there, there. Oh, sorry. I, I accidentally closed my app on my phone. How dare you? Go ahead, Moon, make a death saving throw. What'd you say, no, Deckard no Kane? Yeah, that was Moon. I don't see no people drinking failures. I don't see people drinking Deckard Kane's potions. Ooh. Oh, oh. That's a success, right? It's ten or that's above. A, that's one, that's so one, as the light is fading in and out of your consciousness, you just it's here stayed. within the deep recesses of your mind. Oh moon. <laughs> and that gives you some hope. So you, you resist death this that's, time. That doesn't that purely stabilize him? I think he needs three of those. He needs three. Oh, okay. No, it just give each. A half tonight, Kyle. I'm not. I know it's yes, twenty. Each. 20, each. No, each, sa 20, each. Two successes. Each save. Each save. He just hears. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this is an image of her silhouette. Her big round silhouette. <laughs> Okay, Kyle, go. Moon, my um, breasts! Her big round melons. Play like that. Ooh, need a mushroom! I'm going to upcast. Oh, shit. Nice. Uh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. I'm gonna upcast sleep on this group. Okay. Upcast. What's, What's that, that mean? It it's just gonna adds... up a level. An extra dice, right, or something? Oops. Should have got an inspiration if it's still around. Usually, with crowd, crowd control spells, usually when you pass at higher levels, it will affect more creatures. 
Kyle does have one point of inspiration to use. Ooh. I don't know what that does for spells. Advantage. It's advantage. Advantage. I don't know what that. I'm not attacking. So I then think you if don't I would just it. roll disadvantage. Yeah. yeah. That'll show him. Look at that. 34 it, health. It puts to sleep 34 health worth of individuals. Okay. Starting so, from the uh, starting from the lowest HP up, I believe is how it works. Does that add any of your modifier or proficiency? No, no. wizards suck. So there is no advantage or disadvantage that you can use inspiration on for this. Correct. Gotcha. All right. Okay. That'll do, and, pig. And they will be asleep if no one shakes them awake for 10 turns. Oh yeah, they're completely asleep. The the per, this person is not affected. Okay. Wow, that looks like a half orc warrior. Is that a hobgo? Or is it a half yeah. orc? Yeah. Hobgo. Is that or, your turn? What do they call those things? Uh yeah. Bugbear. So this shitty crossbowman is going to try to finish <laughs> off this ogre. <laughs> Again. He's going to roll a one and hit his priest friend. Oh my god. In the back of the head. <laughs> As you hear him starting to cast like... Ooh, natural 20. Oh. I'm not even going to roll damage. So <laughs> being frustrated having missed twice, he loads this crossbow and ticks it back one extra click on the, on the crossbow and lets the bolt fly. And it, it, it basically just shoots right through this ogre, knocking it completely off balance killing it and it just stumbles down the ravine the inspiration wakes up moon <laughs> yeah i'm doing a slow-mo on this guy's uh, crossbow shot okay. it's his turn so this guy's gonna make an attack now Okay, so he's going to great sword attack. Yes. Another great sword attack. Another miss. What a fucking shitter. How is he missing this large creature? Ogre's dead. Man. Okay, Sergeant. Salamili, Salamili, Mili is going to attack. He's going to thrust his spear <coughs> at this baton. It hits. Hadouk! For that much damage. That much. And then he is going to bash it with his shield. That also hits. Ooh, sick! You know this guy? He's, he, he's, he's awesome. Do you think he'll show us his tits? <laughs> <So bad. laughs> oh man. Okay. Private Wilson is going to make an attack. And that fucking bits it. Look at all those dice of Mrs. back there. <laughs> so this priest is going to walk up to my uh, moon and Ten, and he's going to reach his hands down and rest them on your, your body. <laughs> ah, yeah! <laughs> uh, is that you? <laughs> Who the fuck is Bertha? <laughs> cure wounds. Okay. Can you cure wounds on... on do you have to bring me to stabilize first? I don't no. know. Okay. I don't believe so. So holy light radiates from this priest's fingertips, pulsing into your body and healing you for five points of damage. So I, that's what I did with Ma, because I used Save the Dying, and then I used the Cure spell and the Mimic Fight. So you mean you stabilized I, yeah. them and healed them? Yeah. 
I, I didn't think you could heal them when they're unconscious. You can't. Can he do that? So can he make his bonus his bonus action to stabilize him and then heal him? If he has saved the die. Or usually, you, if you want to do that, you have to roll a medicine check to oh, stabilize okay. somebody. Which is what wisdom. Uh, oh, medicine plus seven. Okay, I got it right here. here I thought that added one save, like uh, death saving 13. throw. Thir Thirteen would add to the saving throws. Yeah. What? So, he so, he, so he's got two now. So if, if, oh, okay. If you, if you don't, so I'm not. I'm pretty sure you can't directly just cast a heal spell at somebody at zero hit points and bring gotcha. them. Maybe you can. So that saves one throw. Uh, that's one save mode. Yeah. So that you've just got one left to, to regain consciousness. But also, Tazic, you could also check that priest or that cleric's uh, cantrips that has prepared if has spared the dying. It could just cast a cantrip and then stabilize someone immediately so why does this say he does not have that okay. so why does it say if damage reduces you to zero hit points and fails to kill you you fall unconscious this unconsciousness ends if you regain any hit points oh done yeah okay no, oh, no i thought no, you no. had to stabilize i thought you had to stabilize too but yeah no that, that's correct so yeah sorry Tazic. you could you could just cure wounds and he's stabilized with the health I, i'm at five hp okay so go ahead and stand up moon yep so this Etna is going to attack the knight again, and he slams his battle axe down on top of this poor knight. And you see uh, him just... So you see the knight get knocked down, uh, the shield falling from his hand, and the Etna is going to raise his great club and make another attack. Oh my god, and this knight. So the 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 mace slams down and the unprotected knight uh just snuffing any life out of him and a massive crater just uh, over his crumpled body. Damn, ah! dude. At least for the other guys who were attacking and failing the bard did give inspiration to like a lot of the, or uh their oh, yeah. attack rolls. Don't, don't forget that they have a advantage when they're attacking. Yes. So then this guy... So that knight probably should have hit earlier. Yeah. Yeah, that's my fault. It's a lot to remember, friends. Yeah. That's gonna hit. Oh, his friends will be dead before we can talk to them. Must be Namex. Good for dying. I'm just okay, looking so over. He's gonna shoot his crossbow in, and it goes right into the eyeball of one of the heads. And the Etten rears back and roars in pain. Okay, he's asleep. He's asleep. He's asleep. He's asleep. So this um, orc is going to. Do orcs and gobs like each other? Yeah, do they? These ones seem to. <laughs> So he's going to advance on you, Zorbert, and make an attack. Okay. You better do that wizard ball again. <laughs> wizard uh, 19. Oh, you better do it. Eh, it hits me. Uh, no. Wizard shield, wizard shield. It won't help him, he's saying. Uh, nine points of damage. Okay. Okay, Remy. You are up. All right, so I start seeing uh, some flickering near Zorbert. So I know my dead wife's telling me to, to help him out. <laughs> <laughs> or shoot him because he murdered your children. I don't know which one it is, but <laughs> I'm just, I'm just going to shoot wildly over there trying to hit uh, somebody. The, the orc warrior. <laughs> ping, ping, ping. So I'm going to use there we go. Oh. Yeah. Okay, that misses. Are you inspired? Oh, that's right. You can yeah, roll that again so if you want. One. Yeah, you can roll a second for advantage. Alright. 
So I hit it again. Mm -hmm. Miss. Damn. <laughs> you are no longer inspired. <laughs> He's really good at sh he's it's really good at shooting trees, but <laughs> <laughs> he's got plus five to hit too. He's just getting wrecked by these dice. It's unlocked. Okay. It's, it's, it's the dead wife's causing it. Heal dwarf. The heal. All right, so moon, so moon's okay. I have a sword floating. There's a orc. Did Kyle actually get hit by the orc? Yes. Yeah, but he's just a little peon. Look at him. Did you raise your shield up? No, he's too... His swing was too fast and heavy for me. Oh, he's a little peon? <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. This is what happens when you play with Tazgar from WoW. <laughs> I'm going to... So I still don't have my weapons equipped, so I'm going to move towards... No, not that way. One, two, three... I'm gonna try to get right up on his nuts, and I'm going to. Ooh, you're gonna touch him, aren't you? I'm gonna touch him. <laughs> Inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> and you know where I'm gonna touch him, Chris? Where you gonna touch him? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna touch him on the back of his head. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, like... eat him. All right, so I'm gonna cast uh, D20. So this is uh, going to be melee spell attack. So it's a 20 total. Yep, that hits. All right, now I'll cast a 3d10. Big money. Big money, big money, big money. I think one of the dice fell off the board. 3d10? What is that spell? This is inflict wounds. Oh, okay. Yeah, how do, you wanna, how do you want to kill that orc? Um, I'm going to... I'm gonna reach for his groin. <laughs> I'm going to say, I'm gonna make like a Bruce Lee, like, <laughs> and then he's just gonna scream, <laughs> and I'm not gonna let go. <laughs> <laughs> just yanking like, on it. Your dwarven grip upon the genitals of this orc and divine energy swims through your veins into his large veins. <laughs> he just it's, screams. It's, it's, it's necrotic, it's necrotic energy, so... Oh it's my god! <laughs> it shriveled <laughs> up! His groin starts to deteriorate in your hand until there's nothing left and the orc falls over dead. Why do you guys keep playing with these groins? You know how the... You know how you have, like, a guild company name? Ours should be the Nutbusters. <laughs> okay, I Christopher. dying, like... Who, who watched the movie Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Hell yeah. A stand task here. Yeah, Chris, your turn. Yeah. yeah. All right, attack roll, and it didn't oh, yeah, transfer. Actually, I have a bonus action still, by the way. Oh, I will hold off. Uh, I'll use my bonus action to move my my uh, conjured weapon behind the end, and I'll take a one d eight plus three, or I'll, I'll make a attack roll on that end with the weapon. Is that the wraith looking thing, Kazik? Yeah. Kazik, yes. you mind moving that for me? Can so I you can that? attack with that too? Yeah, bonus attack? Action. What's their speed? It has 30 speed. 30 oh, nice. Yeah, but is it like, do you need to, can you move and attack or that's, that would be two bonus actions? No, yeah, it can, so. It's just your bonus actions to so, use yeah. it basically, do whatever. As a bonus action on your turn, you can move the weapon up to 20 feet. Sorry, up to 20 feet. And I can attack a creature again within five feet of it. So if I can get within five feet of attack range of the creature. Four tiles. At a... Pretty close. Within five feet of it. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's there. Pretty close. <laughs> mm. Yeah, he mm. don't make it. He barely don't make it. Barely don't make it, but you can move. You can move in there for the next round. Moon. Okay, go ahead, Christopher. Where yeah. was I? You were rolling with <laughs> help from the owl. You were rudely interrupted. Oh, by rolling. I in. need the owl. <laughs> Hooter. Hooter. Good enough. 
Yes, that hits. Yeah. Nice. Thank you, Hoot. Roll damage. That owl's overpowered. Yeah. I love it. That's good because Kyle's spells can't hit anything. Rerolling the one. Damage. So is everything you do. I know. <laughs> All right. So 12 damage. Okay. How do you want to kill the Etten? What? That thing didn't give me any inclination that it was that hurt. Oh. Um, he had an arrow in the eye. You know what basically, I... Basically, his leg is basically gone. So he's just going to be obliterated. These guys did a lot of damage to him. <laughs> That's true. That Salaman hit was pretty big. All right. <laughs> For half, half the company's dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to... Up its leg. Up its other leg. Do a flying yep. half yep. leap. Yep. Severing the sausage. Yes. <laughs> Save, yeah, and I'll acrobatics roll off this. Okay, to, go ahead. And this is pure, purely for looking cool. Looking cool roll. Oh cool, yeah. Seventeen. Looks wicked cool. Yeah. So you 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 seem to plant your foot in one of the Etten's wounds and uh, just climb up his leg uh, vigorously, and then finally reaching to the front of him where you uh, with the with one hand you swipe <laughs> down on the manhood of the Etten. <laughs> and as, as I land, dong in hand, next to the, the sergeant. Whoops. Wrong one. I say, nice to see you again. <laughs> we got small. Uh, so it is a... Very tiny at Etten Wiener. <laughs> That's why he was so angry. <laughs> how, how many pounds? Uh, it is only uh, five pounds. All right. I pocket it. I pocket it into my bag as I land. All right. A wiener collector. Wait, we still got things to kill. Yeah, oh, yeah. The goblins are asleep. I mean, for I'm for they're asleep for ten turns, so I'm not even gonna roll saving throws. You guys just dispatch the the five goblins in the back, killing them. Who <laughs> de gras? What if we want to take them for labor? Oh, prisoners? Yeah. Maybe we can. I I, I, I can just hear Taz sighing right now. Do goblins speak common? No, not these stupid ones. I no. don't speak goblins. Tazik said only, Tazik said only dip, like special goblins speak common. No, he said these ones were special. For, they're hill goblins. Heel goblins. <laughs> Heel goblins. Well, I guess we better get to work, boys, while they're still sleeping. And I start unbuttoning their pants. <laughs> 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 Chop. He pulls out a fillet knife. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to hang out with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we just, and then he makes a necklace out of him. <laughs> I'm still wearing the ears, remember? Oh, yeah. <coughs> oh my gosh. Proxis, is that you, Mike? Been a long right. time. Sergeant Salomon turns to you and says, and then Private Wilson comes over also. Um, Can we do not combat music for this point? I should. I did turn it off. Oh, I didn't apply it to Game Board. Okay. Um, so the priest is going to um, come back and try to help these fallen comrades, but they are they are gone. They are grizzled. I want to yeah. cast. He is utterly destroyed. Detect magic. Sorry about your men. Oi. Clint was a good man. Same with Harry, but they died in battle. Nothing else they would have rather had. What are you guys even doing out here? We came to check on the, the logging camp because we haven't received a shipment of lumber in weeks. And on our way there, we came across this war party. I'm assuming they were headed for Neverwinter. 
I notice you're wearing the 75th insignia now. What happened to the other unit? 74th just wasn't a good fit for us anymore. It's a difference of opinions, I'll just say that. Well, you're in the better unit anyway. What are you doing now? Trying to help this wizard track down another wizard. Hmm. Sounds like fun. By the way, this wizard seems like he's into some deep, deep stuff. Stole something from the academy. And you'll never guess who's with him. Who? Captain Rainfjord. He turns and spits on the ground. That son of a bitch. This doesn't, doesn't surprise me. This doesn't seem like it's something sanctioned by the watch. Oh god, no. He's gotten into something. Something way over his head, I'm imagining. Since I left, anything happened with him? Has he been acting extra weird? He's not even part of the watch anymore. He was I... banished from the city three weeks ago. Not surprising after what he did. And I look over at Private Wilson. There's a nasty, nasty bit of business with him. We could tell as soon as we joined he wasn't right, but I never thought he would do what he did. Glad to see you got to keep your post private. Unfortunately, you're no longer a sergeant. Who, Wilson? Yeah. Was he always a sergeant? He was a sergeant before, but he's a private now, is what I was oh. thinking. He got demoted and... Oh, okay. Because of Captain Rainfeard, was what I was going for. Yeah, I like being a grunt anyway, you know that. <clears throat> well, we're on our way to the logging camp. The mayor, oh, wow. the mayor of Fandolin tasked us to check on his brother, who incidentally is leading that camp. Oh, the Westers. Yeah, there's real shitey people. Probably yeah. Maybe we, maybe we could caravan with these guys. Looks like we could actually use each other's help if this forest is as dangerous as it seems. This is really the first action we've come across since we left Neverwinter. About three days ago. And uh, for the first sight of action, this was one hell of a doozy. Must be a Etten camp nearby. Or a cave. Yeah, something. All these boys were holed up somewhere, waiting for something. Or they were chased. We heard there's a dragon about, too. Have you already been to the logging camp, or were you on your way? No, we were on our way. We're only about a day's, day's way away from now, I think. So what do you say? We, we going together? To the logging camp... No. If you boys are heading there, you won't need us to go along. I think we'll head to Fandolin, check in on them. You did leave Have half. You, been there? you did lose half your unit. Might be yes. worth the rest. Well, we'll we'll rest and tend to the wounded and well and the dead before we move on to Fandolin. But you're a, you're a capable man, and so do these people seem that you're with. You'll be more than capable to handle what's at the logging camp, if there's anything. I may not hold rank, but I still have all my skills. And two superiority dice. I can see. <laughs> I can definitely see that, so. But trust us. You should, I don't know what you would run across at the, the logging mill that you wouldn't be able to handle. Listen, when you get to town... What the heck was that guy's name? I wrote it down. Haggis so. Ironbane. Yeah. Yeah. When you get to town, look up Haggis Ironbane. He's trying to form a militia. Could use some tr training tips. Oh, yeah. we definitely get them up in ship shape. And if there are no need of their fallen's armor and weapons. Tell the innkeeper when you get there. That you're a good friend of Servius, the hero of Phandalin. I'm sure he'll give you free room and board. Yeah, and tell Bertha that Moon says hi. Okay. Most certainly. A hero of Phandalin? 
How can anyone be a hero of that shit little town? Just nod and smile as you say it. <laughs> Alright. Well, well, hey, uh, Proxus, when you saw Rainsford, did he did he look the same, or has he changed? Look at that dwarf from the heel. To be honest, he looked even more deranged from the last time we slew him. As, as I hop over, you just hear a bunch of flopping noises. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. It doesn't bode well. Who was he with? Yeah, I was just about to ask. Have you guys heard of a name named Tethys before he left the watch? Tethys. Not me. What about you, Solomon? Tethys. I faintly recall a Tethys being at the academy. Neverwinter Academy. You might want to check back there and see if any of them can recall that mage. That's that's all that comes to mind, though. Hmm. But I've definitely heard the name before. An adjutant professor, perhaps? Wait, Maybe. what? <laughs> adjunct? Yeah, adjunct. <laughs> Don't you worry, I'll think of the hard words for you. <laughs> Remember, my intelligence is negative one. What a dummy. Yeah, check with the academy. They'll know. <laughs> All right. You boys mind if we use your camp after you skedaddle? Oh, by all means. We're going to rest before we head out, too. Well. <laughs> so they kind of each just uh, grasp you on the forearm in a handshake before they go about their camp duties and kind of settling down and moving the bodies and all that good stuff. I'll, I'll assist my priestly duties and help with the burial ceremony. So the bard is <clears throat> cooking uh, what looks to be a splendid meal for everyone in the camp, uh, singing a hymn as he does so. Um, is there anything else you guys want to do? I was just going to mention uh, the circumstances of me being removed from the, the post. Okay, uh, go ahead. Are we all... You know, I'm glad you guys still got to retain your post. So this is so you guys are just sitting down for the meal now. Uh, okay, we're all gathering around. Okay, yeah. I'm just trying to fast forward a little bit. Can I quickly cast detect magic to see if there's anything we yeah. care about other than wieners on all these? Guys? <laughs> yeah. So you, you you do not sense any magical uh, properties about any of the corpses on the ground. Okay. Why don't you search the orc up there? It looks like it was. A I, as I as I'm having this conversation, I throw the the Etten wiener on the spit and start turning it. <laughs> you know, bad business when I left, but it was for the best that it was me that took the brunt. He's slowly cooking. Away. Glad the to see. goes over to the fireplace and pukes. Over this wood pile of pukes. Glad to see Major Ren Renford at least got a demotion. Unfortunate about Wilson, though. So, what exactly happened? Wilson still won't talk about it. Do you remember Gerald? Gerald Henry. It rings a bell, but remind me. Fresh lieutenant got out of line with Renford when he disagreed with him. He killed him. Right there, in cold blood. The investigation didn't pan anything. I tried to tell them. He tried to say I had something to do with it. Poor Wilson got into it with him. That was his friend. Gerald was Wilson's friend. They were like brothers. By the gods. What a Ren monster. Renford and I never saw eye to eye. He found a way to make it stick. And sticky. On Wilson? He pinned it on you and Wilson? I said it was an accident. Took the blame. Couldn't prove Renford had anything to do with it. And it sounds like you. It's better I'm not in there anyway. Never liked orders. 
But so I do, I do love it. Etten Wiener. Did Rainsford get off scot free? No. He was on their radar for a while. Got that demotion. Probably hurt his honor a bit. I imagine I that's, that's why he left. Yeah, that's that's most likely the chain, the the thing that started the chain of events to follow. Rainsford was seen stealing equipment from the barracks before he was finally let go. What was, it. what was he taking? Shields, weapons, some armor. I don't know what for. I can just imagine he was trying to pawn it. Why he's no, no longer there makes sense now. He always had a thing for power. He had his eyes on the Commandant's job. Yeah, but why steal as the final stick to break the camel's back? I don't know, but I have a feeling it's related to all this. It could be. He did have some ties with the Academy. Listen, when you get back to Neverwinter, see if you can figure out anything about the name Tethys. Ask around. Tethys. All right, I can do that for you. Look for that. A couple contacts. Look for that really horny owl. We'll send word. Will do. But for now, go to that inn. Tell them the heroes. You know the hero. Yes, we'll head there, check on them first. Were they attacked at all by this dragon? Town regularly gets hit by the dragon. That's why we suggested the militia. Mm. Have you seen any orcs coming to attack Vandalin? Other settlements have been pit, guerrilla style, by these orcs, having probably been displaced by this dragon amongst all other manner of creature. Looks like there's been attacks on Butternut Ranch, as well as several of the excavation sites run by the dwarves. We took out a pack of them. I show him my necklace. It's all grizzled. <laughs> he seems a little disturbed by that. Uh, well, all right then. Butter Skull Ranch. That doesn't sound familiar to me. I pick up the Etten Wiener and just, ca as we're talking, casually walk over to Moon and plop it on on his plate. <laughs> And it just goes <laughs> and slides slowly off the beans he was eating. Yeah. What do you do, Moon? Make a constitution save, bro. No, I have uh I have an advantage against being frightened. <laughs> this isn't not, frightened, this it means nothing to me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, you pick it up and fucking eat it. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Who picks up the wiener and takes Without a chewing. bite out of it? Is he inspired by this? <laughs> no. <laughs> he gains one inspiration point. No, he does not. Oh, thanks, Proxus. This hot dog is great. <laughs> You've uh, picked some rather strange traveling companions this time, Proxus. There were more. Remember that hero I mentioned? Yeah. Wasn't quite as heroic as it made it seem. They never are. So far, they're reliable, though. This new one, though. Hey, Remy. Uh, he's just staring off into the fire. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? Yeah. I think he might be cursed. She, she's watch. <laughs> so is he? Is he an actual bowman or? Is today's first day with a bow? Yes. I thought so. I can't anything. I, 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 I look over and I, I uh, say, Hey, uh, if you don't think I'm cool with a bow, uh, I'll uh, gamble with you. If you, you want to take a... <laughs> I love the gambling <laughs> stick. I'll take you up on that. All right, so... After watching you. We'll hit the he, he slaps uh, five gold on the table around you, in front of you guys. All right, I'll throw five gold down. We'll aim towards the tree in the distance. No, no, I pick the tree. All right. 
I want you to hit this tree right here. And he points to this tree. Alright. So roll an attack. Oh. You're okay, so you miss. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> he waggle waved line. waggles in his face. Sorry about that. And he takes your five gold. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. A against a tree? Shouldn't a ten hit? Not for this purpose. Oh, it's gambling. Uh, ten was hard. the ten was the deciding factor. I don't think it was a uh, armor situation. I think it was more of a DC check. Yeah. He's a uh, Remy's flustered by the the flickering fire. He's swatting it around his head. We can't see anything. What are you doing? Remy, you forgot to close the bathroom door. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is there anything else you guys want to do in this camp? We just taking our long rest? Yeah. Uh, I want to talk to Zorbert real quick. Oh, I was okay. resting. Are you asleep? Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let Kyle, Chad go if he's gonna do so. Uh, you, you guys seem like a well-traveled group. Is it pretty common that like goblins and ogres and orcs all hang out together, or do you think that's some sort of strange anomaly? Private Wilson turns to you and he says, "No, they've been known to travel with each other in dire circumstances." Dire circumstances. Oh, maybe they were running from something. Dang. That's what we figured. Huh. Uh, I was just curious. Thank you. When you were knocked down, did something happen to your voice? No. What? Do you, what do you mean? <laughs> you just sound different. That's all. Is this how you sounded before you were knocked unconscious? Yeah, yeah, no, this is how I always sound. Oh, my apologies, my apologies. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's all right. I mean, you know, everybody, everybody's got a different voice, I guess. The priest next to the party talks in awkward silence. You, get, you two can actually talk if you want, just a second. La -dee -da -dee -da -dee -da -da. Anybody want some mushroom wine? I got some left in this jug. I got this hot dog here if anybody wants to take a bite. Dude, it's really good. I've never had one like this. <laughs> were they, uh, out of character, were these guys going to stay in Fandolin or were they going to eventually be back in Neverwinter? So they, they were sent out on patrol to check in on the loggers camp and then report back to Neverwinter. But since Vandalin is so close, they're going to, you know, help you out for helping them out and stay a day or two to recoup and to treat, uh, not treat, but to help Haggis uh, with some maneuvers and other kind of things that he can train the militia that he's trying to form. I'm just wondering, are they going to be there when we're, we go back to Vandalin? So it's going to take half a day to get to Vandalin, uh, same amount of time for you to get to the loggers camp. They'll stay for, you know, probably a day or two in Fandolin. So if you beat feet right from the loggers camp, depending on how long you stay there, uh, you'd probably still be in town with them for at least a day or a half a day. If something else doesn't come up. Of course, of course. them or we could find a courier your eyes only <laughs> if you trust them <laughs> then we could write one for them to deliver i trust them explicitly they'll see it done should we wait till we return to and possibly meet them, or do you think they will be gone by the time we make it back? Depends how long this, we're at this camp, loggers camp. 
So Wilson kind of turns to you guys, having heard some of your conversations, since you're so close. Oh, sneak. Um, if you need us to take something to Neverwent, we'd be happy to. But, uh, Proxus, I, I do need to ask, should we be careful about saying this name around Neverwent? Yeah. If you carry this letter, we should definitely use code words. All right. You and I know the words. Does this wizard? He does not. I don't know a code word, but I can write a letter that you can just hand. Oh my somebody. God, is he okay? I'm sitting, but that doesn't let me do that. Okay. <laughs> I'm writing a letter. He writes like that. <laughs> this is how I teach classes. Too. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any sort of special way you could translate or have this letter codified for your headmaster that only he'll understand? Mm. The best I could do is write it in Draconic. I know that the headmaster also knows Draconic language. I guess that's better than nothing. We'll hope this agents of this wizard have don't know. That's as safe a route as any, I'd imagine. But they'd have to get through us first in order to find the damn thing, so we'll do our best. I should have, been, I should have invested in invisible ink. Okay, anything else you guys want to do at this camp? We didn't find any valuables, right? Not on the creatures, no. Right. Are we adding experience? Uh, so you you can. Remy, you're going to get a level up from this. So you're level, right. you'll be level two now. And everyone else. Um, let's see. Was the knight wearing any valuable armor or anything? Yes, but the the um, the team here is going to take it and keep it for their own. Give it to me. I'm greedy. Nope. 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 Did Zorbert find anything when he was looking around on that? The only other creature that looked like it might have anything valuable would be that half orc. Which one? The one that was on the pathway that hit me? Yeah, yeah. you said you were looking around out there. That. Yeah, I covered that. And were any of my missed arrows found in good condition? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> we did yeah, find yeah. plenty of wings. That should be our bounty that we turn in whenever we're doing bounty. <laughs> wings. <laughs> Dongs. Foxes, do you think I should include the incomplete bounty letter that Tethys wrote in this. Hmm. No, no, that would draw too much attention. Period. If, it, if it does get intercepted. Alright, I gotta go, so what's the XP we're getting? You're just you get a up. whole level up. Alright. So it should be right. 300 if you want to Alright, so take the guy is here, so take over my uh, yeah. my character. You could just run off into the wilderness. <laughs> Later, man. Later. Good See ya. See ya. Yeah, really nice. How much longer are we thinking of going for? Forever. Forever. Um, and then everyone, so the four of you get 600 uh, XP each from that encounter. 600 flat? Yeah. All right. I know that Proxus and Zorber are ahead by a little bit because they have one thing extra. Tomorrow, and then I'll be off Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was talking to us for a second. Yeah. They walked in. How, how, do, I, how do I change <laughs> from the health? advancement to XP advancement. You have to go back into editing your character. Man, and you, you uh, scattered amongst the bodies, you do find 17 gold worth of coin. 
Ooh, now there's f five of us. Well, theoretically, uh, I think Zorbert was the only one actually looking at the bodies. Yeah. So if he gives anybody else gold, that's up to him. Yeah. What gold? Yeah, exactly. Um, 15. We each get three gold. And oh, thank you for splitting that up. I'll take two, the two extra. Okay, so you gave a letter to Private Wilson, correct? Uh, I'm not finished yet. Okay. I am melting my wax uh, in the fire. With okay, a, go ahead. It's a cool little uh, crucible, that uh, copper crucible that I can melt wax in. I pulled yeah. the letter. That's not oh, your private insignia, is it? Oh, it is. Oh, yeah. Ooh, it's wow. my signet ring. Is that something that people know about? No, it's not well known. The headmaster will know. But the headmaster will know who it came from. Hmm. All right, then. Foxes, what about, or whereabouts, what's your XP number? I, don't, I just I want to make sure I'm not completely way off. 1860 out of 2700. Okay. Okay, I'm at 1685, and I know you guys did one thing that got you more. Okay. Yeah, it was like 175 ahead. Yep, yep. I just want to check. Thank you. We're so much smarter. Yeah. We're right, more experienced. Check. I pour the wax liquid onto the folded parchment. Okay. And I press onto it with my signet ring. Okay, roll a d20. Yes. With what? Nothing, just d20. I don't want the water. Just I take wanna, time. I want to add stuff to it. Oh, oh, oh man. Man. So it is a perfect imprint. You managed to line it up perfect, and your seal uh, is very easily seen on on the wax. Dang, it's, almost, it's almost magically sealed. It's magically sealed. Only the headmaster can read it because he rolled a twenty. Shut the fuck up. Magic, <laughs> magic, 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 magic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who do you give it to? Uh, this guy that's aware of our plan. Wilson? Okay. Yeah, Wilson. Here, Wilson, here's the sealed letter to the headmaster only at the university. So he takes it gingerly in his hands and, and puts it in a safe spot in his satchel. I'll see it done. Try not to bend the edges. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anything else you guys want to do here? No, rest time. Anyway, rest and get all my dice back. Okay, so you guys take a long rest, and do you now want to proceed to the logger's camp? Yes, I think we shall. It's good to see you lads again. All right, we're glad you're still in one piece, Proxus. It was excellent fighting beside you. Now, if we do find out some information, are we waiting for the owl to come to us, or should I send a missive to Fandolin? Does your owl know where to look for something, Zorbert? Uh, or are we going to go pick it up? Apologies, I was meditating. <laughs> meditating. What do you need the owl to do? When if they do find out anything, how are we getting back the word? Uh, or do we have it sent back to Fandolin? The headmaster should be able to send word to us. He's got more ability than we do currently. All we right, so we'll just hand us. him the missive and consider it done. Yes, he'll be aware. He knows where we're at and what our tasks are. Very good. Good luck, gentlemen. Hopefully we'll see you in Fendelin before we head back to Neverwinter. It was excellent meeting you all. Safe travels. You as well, Halfling. I'll be sure to paint about you, gentlemen. You oh, did yeah. fine work today. We are due for an erotic painting. Yeah, we should. As are. did you, Dwarf. I can tell a Tempest Cleric when I see one. You performed well. I nod at the, at the soldier. Oh, boy. All right. So <laughs> the Tempest, because he got he he gets uh he got electrocuted on his heel by a lightning bolt and gave him superpowers. 
Yes. I love that you just like straight up ate a wiener. <laughs> it probably that wasn't enough time for it to be thoroughly cooked either. Fine, I rolled a twenty constitution. Like I could have eaten that whole thing and raw. Uh, yeah, you he raw dogged it. Like I have, I have advantage against poison also. So oh, this is a cute little logging camp. So Remy, I'm assuming, headed back to Fandolin on his own. He probably stayed with the guys, with the camp, and uh, traveled with them back to Fandolin. Or should he? I'll have him come here so he can get level three. Oh, I'm assuming there's a fight. Then. And probably head off afterwards. You. What are you doing? I'll be right back. Walk, walk the doggy. She needs to go pouty. Why won't this bird stay? Because it's flying and it's weird. Yeah, it's not working. I'm missing somebody. It's Proxus. Dude, maybe we should take this over. Look at this place. Okay, hang on one second here. I'm just gonna have to do a new. I found the bird, Tazzy. Oh, you got it. Okay, perfect. It was underground. Oh, all right. Okay. So you guys arrive at the logging camp. The logging camp spreads along the south shore of the river, where a dozen tents are arranged on a sandy beach. Near a dock stands a cabin with logs stacked under an awning. Older cabins close by have been torn down to leave only stone chimneys and foundations. A grim silence hangs over the camp and you see no one around. Oh. One of them, you guys arrive right next to this ruin of a house here. Uh, can I roll, like, I guess roll... Uh, I want to know if it seems like it was recently destroyed or if it's, like, old ruins. Uh, make an investigation check. All right. Nope. <laughs> 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 I don't know anything uh, about All right. Anybody so you're not even it? sure if this was a building. I don't know. <laughs> in your in your memory, it kind of looks like an ancient dwarven ruin. You you might know something about those mushrooms there. I don't see any mushrooms. See some cattails. That's about it. Huh. Um, I'll cast Mage Hand. Okay. And send it over to that door to try to open it. That door? Okay. Yeah. Who has Remy? The door opens with ease. Hello? There! Are you yelling right now? Sure am. I just yelled. Hello, is anyone in there after you open the door? Why don't you try stealthily walking in there? We heard there was trouble. Anything. <laughs> Nothing responds. Why don't you go sneak in there and tell us what you see? Yeah, I roll a 20 to sneak or stealth. Um... I don't know how stealth works. I have no clue how it works. You bas I mean, basically... If there's danger in there, you kind of decide like when he checks rolls and then yeah. if they see him and stuff. So it's not like WoW where he just goes invisible. He, he uses shadows, moves quietly. <clears throat> if, if he overtly walks uh, in front of someone, then you could be like, ah! Yeah. I peek around the edge of the doorway. Okay, roll a perception check. Uh, it just looks like nobody's home, but other than that, it's just a standard-looking cabin. Uh, you do see across the room a heavily barred door. Uh, not barred door, but just a door of solid iron that's basically just closed shut. Right, I'm going to go around and just peek around this other corner quick before I tell him to come in. Okay, stop right there. So as you step on that wooden tile, the ground under you vibrates, and everybody stop. Get back up on that ledge. 
um, the ground trembles and up from under the ground bursts this creature. Roll initiative. <laughs> Does he even notice, Moon? This creature? Lock left oh, lock. oh, God. Are we all rolling initiative? No, just Moon. Oh. I just saved your life, Chris. Yeah. Okay, Moon, so you go first. So this creature bursts from the ground in an explosion. Actually, you, uh, everyone make a, uh, you guys, where are you? You told us oh, to I get see. back on the heel. I, I had my green diamond down too far. Uh, so you guys make a perception check. See if you hear it, it bursting from the floor. Bursting. Okay, Chris, so you hear it. What was that? Whoops. Kyle, you do not hear it. And I'll roll for Remy. And we have to roll for Mach. Remy hears it. And I'll roll for Mach. Mach also hears it. So everyone but Zorbert uh, hears it. So um, roll initiative. Um, everyone but Zorbert. So, because I'm not, like, because I heard it and I have foreknowledge, can I, like, run to the door then roll? What's... No, I would say you could either do that or tell Zorbert something's going on, one or the other. I just charge headlong to the door. Okay. Exactly, Zorbert doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just gonna take two turns. Alright, roll you can... initiative. I'll assume the wizard can figure out I noticed something was wrong. Plus, you're free to make actions while this is happening. Yeah. What about those adjacent professors? <laughs> no, I said adjutant. <laughs> adjacent. Does my stealth do anything Adjunct. <laughs> no. Adjunct. Okay, so five for Chris. Uh, I'm checking out the rest of the camp with my familiar. Okay. Who rolled what here? This is like the thing I have the most trouble with is doing this part. You don't have the notebook like we all have that shows everybody's stuff? I do, but I rolled for three people, so I'm trying to figure out who is who. Uh, so you go first, then Remy, then Rogar, then this, and then Chris. Okay, Moon, what do you wish to do? Shit! That is my first. You are surprised. No, I don't. Well, you always surprise me. Is surprise a, an actual word in D and D? Because I do not get frightened. Yeah, surprise is completely different. Dang it. Alright, what does surprise do? Uh, let me go look it up. I haven't been able to use my doesn't get frightened yet. That's against something that causes fear. Yeah. No, he doesn't surprise me. I was stealth. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Got him, got him, got him you got stepped him. on a pressure plate. Of bugs. Can I someone can't... help me look up surprise? Yeah. I can't step on pressure plates. I don't weigh anything. That would work. So. Uh. Yeah, okay, I just, I lose my first turn. Next. Okay, is that what it says? Yeah. Okay. Remy. Who's going to control Remy? It says, hold on. Since I have Kai or uh, Mock already, I'll give it to somebody else. Do you still have? Okay, you do. Second, let me see if I can pull up his character sheet. Cause well, let's can... see. Did the did the bug perceive Moon there after? I'm assuming Moon awoke the bug and then it dug out of the floor. But when it came up, did it perceive Moon, even though he was moving quietly? You don't even know there's a bug in there right now. 
trying to help. He's trying to defend the uh, sneak versus surprise. I need Remy, where is he? But I do know if the the uh... nature of this beast no amount of sneaking would help in this situation. Alright, so um you want me to run Remy? Unless it was like a natural twenty sneak. Yes, you can run Remy since you guys turned them right after each other. Can you give me his Yeah. There you go. And he noticed I was in yes. Yeah, okay. he, he's got a, a pretty good eyes view of uh, what happened. Ugh. Do I have uh, being an archer? Can I shoot through this doorway at it? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. You can. I don't know much about him, so I'm gonna attack with longbow. It's a giant worm! Oh no, the doorway's too small. Yeah, that misses. So the arrow just shoots at the top of the door frame. That's all he can do. Rogar. What was his movement? Is that 5.5? 30. 25? 25. So it's 5.5, right? You can open his character sheet right in D&D Beyond. Yeah, I just don't see, like, where was movement again? Oh, 25 speed, yeah. So I'm pretty sure. Can't move him. Uh, real guy? No, it's because I had the ruler. So he barely gets right up on its booty. Okay. Uh, 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 oh. I'm gonna inflict wounds on it. Okay. I guess I'm just doing level one because I have no idea how to do any of this. On melee spell attack. Oh, I have to don't ignore this. How do I how do I stop? You just gotta chuck it and delete it. Let's see. There we go. <laughs> nice. Ooh, that hits. Okay. Now the damage. <laughs> Seventy. Okay, so you run up and press your hands against the chitinous shell of this creature, and uh, as your divine energy flows into it, it writhes around in pain, clearly taking damage. Take that, numb nuts. <laughs> bug. Okay, so the bug is going to turn. <laughs> So it's going to sh spray a chemical out of its mouth, and it's uh, it's gonna hit both of you because it's got a five feet width. Is this so make five a feet? dexterity saving throw? Oh, okay. Both of you. Come on. Mm. Yeah, you both fail it. Is it a poison? No. Damn it. <laughs> Good thing we long rested. So, okay. So how does that work? What? It says... Each creature in a line must make a DC 13 dexterity saving throw, taking X amount of damage on a failed save. So do I roll damage for each person? Hit? No, or do I want... split the damage? They I each think... take the same number? Yeah, I think they each take the same number. Okay, so you both so take you... 11 points of acid damage. Okay, I have to write down Mox because I can't edit his sheet. It damages everything like in that line. Oh, okay, yes. That makes sense. Okay. Oh, ah! and you, you just see the wood in this area start to hiss and sputter.
What are you measuring now? I was just seeing. Cone of coldness. Okay, Proxus, your turn. Right, I can go just a little wee bit further than he can. Okay. And I... What's the size of this thing? It is large. That's and in good. charge. I'm going to trip attack it. Okay. So I need to make a strength check? Uh, yeah. 17 hits. Uh, 20. Not a natural 20. Boo. <laughs> I think it was 13 or whatever. Okay. So I just so extra damage. Seven extra damage. Okay, so you slap your sword against its plate and uh eighteen total. Eighteen total? Yeah. Okay, how do you want to kill it? Yeesh. This guy just comes up and kills stuff. Um I slither up the slithery slitherer. <laughs> and then Snicker Snack is an X strike. It's head off. Okay. Wait, can, wait, hold on. Can you make that sound again? Whatever you just did to it. Snicker snack. Snicker snack. <laughs> I snicker snack <laughs> with my vorpal blade. Okay, so as Chris cuts the head of this creature off, uh, its acidic nature, you all take one point of acid damage as the blood sprays around. Mm -hmm. And it falls over completely dead. In the meantime, oh, wow. I didn't it push it off over there. Phineas is outside playing with his bird. <laughs> okay. All right, back to exploration mode. What the? F is going on here? What is on XP? -ness? What is that thing? Uh. Four fifty divided by three. Hmm. I can. I got a calculator up right here. One fifty each. One fifty each. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> the hard. calc. The calculation. <laughs> there was no Zorbert to take any of that, right? Or Remy. Uh. Well, Remy did launch an arrow. Did he hit? No. Dad didn't even hit it. Yeah, but I snuck up on it. He took damage. I learned from the damage I took. Okay, what do you boys wish to do? I do think Remy should get some, but that's fine. I think he's gonna probably just grant him a level after this. That's yeah. true. Exactly. Truth fact. Um, Finnegan! What's your name? What? For Findlesticks! It Dindle sticks, get in here! You might know what this thing is. I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kyle, what are you doing? Uh, I'm checking the rest of the camp for anything. Honestly, we probably shouldn't make him level three though. After this, why not? Uh, just because he'll probably want to like experience it. He doesn't even play it as a level two. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I know you're right. I forgot. Yeah. Okay. Maybe he should just disappear for now. Yeah. So he's going to be back at camp. Or he, he stayed with the the um, platoon. Is it a platoon or company? It's a company, I guess. Uh, it was a yeah. part of elements of a division. So we'll just say it was it was like Bravo Company or something. Okay, so he stayed with uh, the company and went back to Fandwood with them. Uh, make a perception check, Kyle, with advantage. Wait, when you're searching around, though, it's 13. Yeah, I don't know. Like, once in a while, I, we, we just need to use the uh, the passives. I just don't know when. Right, but look at the creature you just fought. Oh, no, I'm, we were talking about investigations and things. So you notice, Kyle, that this, the settlement definitely looks like it was disturbed and... Uh, People either left in a hurry or just vanished. And abandoned, basically, is what I would think of yes. it as. Okay. 
Okay, Are, can we investigate the building? And you do we're... see... Oh, okay. You did notice one dismembered hand. Ooh. Right here. Delicious. Is that the only dismembered appendage? Yep, that he sees, anyway. Alright, do you see me come back online at my character? Okay. Oh, you Dude. use the familiar to fly around? Okay, that's cool. It's like Game of Thrones Beast. The yeah, Beast Vision. Yeah, Beast Vision. <clears throat> We're uh, investigating this room via passive, and I have a okay, 13. Okay, so you notice uh, the or a hole nine, that rather. The, this creature came out of, and it's a deep tunnel. Um, obviously, it, it, it came from somewhere underground, so it is a tunneling beast. Um, everything else in this uh, room here seems to have been undisturbed by the comparison to the other events of the camp um but you do hear shuffling behind this iron door behind you proxis does this room look as if it was abandoned quickly everything it, is it just looks like a normal room nothing nothing out of the ordinary at all aside from the giant hole in the what was the that What'd you boy hear? who's in there who's that who's that We are friendly. Are you? Are you okay? Are you are you a Wester? Yeah, yeah, that's me. And he's you hear as he slides open a little porthole in the door. Why is this familiar? <laughs> Not this again. What are you doing here? Your brother sent us. What's happening here? Oh, Hobbin! Thank the gods for Hobbin, my best brother. Uh, I was recently uh, in charge of this logging camp. And uh, these beasts came out of nowhere and attacked us. Are you the only one here? I I think so. As soon as I, I, I heard the attacks outside and the screams of the men, I ran in here and shut the door. Oh, that's very brave of you. How many of these things are there? I don't know. I just heard the screams and ran. I'm gonna get out of there. I'm not leaving this room. Yeah, come on out. Come here. Not until I know everything is gone. Yeah, we killed it. We just killed the beast. Come out. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> or make a deception check. <laughs> you mean they're all dead? Uh, yeah, they're all dead. Yeah, yeah we killed it. It, um... Okay. I was about to drag the body over here and put the acid you on did, the door. You did dispatch that one rather quickly. Yeah, piece of cake. It didn't. It didn't hurt us at all. Yep. As their skins melt off. Speak for yourself. <laughs> oh, by the gods, thank you. Save, oh, thank you for like. saving me. Remember, his so brother hoarded. Stands a scrawny, petulant man <laughs> who uh, is. Uh, on the verge of starvation, having just locked himself in here for days. There's here, no... try... hold on, here, try this. I don't see an outhouse in there. Yeah, it, it <laughs> smells fucking horrible in there. Here, try this. He, hand, he hands, him, hands him what looks like a sausage. He's probably almost dead if he didn't have any water. Yeah, he, he gobbles it up, not even caring about the taste, and eats it completely. <laughs> have, you any, have you any water? <laughs> he hands him uh he hands him his water thing it's fine yeah. <laughs> how long have you been in there oh god at least three days i All ran right. out of water yesterday i'm what? filling out this note here that says we got you out please stamp it <laughs> okay right. have you any wax Scribble your name. <laughs> he takes a pen and, and writes uh, Tibor Wester on the bottom. Thanks. <clears throat> Real quick, we were supposed to come here just to see what was going on, right? So I don't suppose this lumber can move. It looks like the 
operation of the lumber mill is done. Yeah, there's no men left to remain it, so we might as well just go. To get your workers back here. The people of Well, Fandle now that we know the, the attacks are work. done, and you've dispatched all the beasts, we should be able to resume logging. What With who? You? With Neverwinter. They'll send more men. Men no, are cheap. But, yeah, but well, man, let's, man, let's man, report... Man, Let's report back to Fandolin and get word out. We're just gonna leave and he gets eaten by a beast. Um, you didn't see anything? What do you mean? Me? What? You saw a hand? Oh yeah, there's a hand out there. A worker's hand, probably. probably you were and you were flying with the familiar, right? It, yeah. Okay. It's probably where they last burrowed before we killed them all. <laughs> you know we didn't actually kill them all uh, yeah, no, if they send more men here that's a problem for us <laughs> yeah we're gonna we're gonna look around a little bit more you know, I'm gonna ta I'm gonna talk to this guy hold on maybe <clears throat> come out here so he can face his fears so uh when did the attack start Probably, I would say we'd get little, the strangest thing is we'd see boars coming out of the woods and just staring at the logging camp before disappearing back in the wood. Boars. Yes. And, and, and a couple times it looked like men. And I swear I saw one go to the ruins up on the hill. But that's all I can. That's that's really the only strange thing. But a couple of uh, about a week or so after that is when these beasts showed up. Have you had? So this is this isn't a recurring problem. This just started. Well, it's been going on for three weeks now. It started three weeks ago, but the, it was nothing to this volume. The ruins right up this hill. Yeah, we're gonna have to check those ruins out. Yes. Look, why don't you go lock yourself back in that room now that you've been fed? We'll be right back. We're going to go check it out. Unless you can manage to fandle it. Oh, I, ca I can't make that journey by myself. All right, we'll be back. <laughs> okay. He runs in and <laughs> slams the door shut again. Go kill some more worms. So up here, where we were? Yes. I'm going to stay close to Proxus and follow him through whatever direction he's going. I'm assuming that Ro Rogar is going with us, but nobody, can, we're not moving him. Well, and I don't, I don't I'm know stuck. If, uh, I'm stuck. <laughs> I don't know if okay. Zorth is. Uh, so this is the ruin that he was talking about. Well, no, we were just literally wa walked by. Yes. All right. That's where we came from here. And he investigated, fail yes, investigate. and you rolled a natural fucking one on your investigation. Guys, I already looked around here. It looks fine. It looks, it looks great, really. Rogar, why don't you take a look? I didn't notice a thing. He said it was dwarven make, but I think he's full of shit. It looks dwarvish, doesn't it? Look, there's rocks. Um, so with the three of you investigating, I'll say you, uh, go to this ruin of a chimney, and, uh, in it, uh, you see something up at, at up at the chimney within arm's reach. I pluck it. I pluck it down and stare down at these two. Okay, so you pull down a, what looks like, uh, 13 tiny androgynous stick figures dipped in, in blood um, inscribed with tiny lightning bolt symbols and tied all together in a bundle of hair. What the hell? So all of you can make a religious a religion check. I whisper into the sending stone, you might want to come see this. Okay, Chris, you think it's just leftovers of uh, kindling in the fireplace? 
It's the name of the moon, you have no idea what the hell it is. Oh, Rogar. Did I roll for Rogar? No. <laughs> you don't, I don't know, know anything about religions. Um, I will do detect magic. Okay. So as you cast uh, detect magic, it definitely has. <laughs> 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 Oh, guys, that's just a, an ornament on a, from a tree. <laughs> I'm pretty uh, sure that was a bird's a, nest. A magical property about this stick figure thing. Pretty normal. Probably, yeah. probably something the crone made. Hmm. Hmm. I just want to drop it on the ground and there's stop thir on <laughs> There's 13 figurines? 13 figures. Stick figures, basically. Like all tied humanoid? in one bundle or of just hair. Like yes, androgynous humanoid. Okay. In hair. And dipped in blood. Can we tell at all if there the any hair other... is from... Is it just really long? Does it look like human hair? Thick mane hair of an animal? Yes. It looks like Can human hair. Human hair? You might know more what? about this stuff. What happens if we destroy it? Um, well, one question I would have for the western side is how many loggers he had here before they all went missing. There's something moving behind us. You think that it was like some sort of like hex doll or something like that? Well, possibly, usually. Can I like roll a perception? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so you definitely notice you, you notice this boar coming out of the brush um, and kind of just standing right on the edge of the brush, just his, his head barely visible sticking out of the reeds. I know. Moon, are you? Red. You're oh, good with the animals. Go see what it is. <laughs> what did um, you see? I see a boar can I, over there. Can I, can I roll an arcana <coughs> check? Um. Uh, in, in I'm. What more wait, about wait. magical traditions? Yeah, go ahead. I'm. I'm just thinking from my studies. If this is decent enough, I'll tell you. I'm thinking from my studies that I know of, like, uh, not necessarily evil druids, but druids who follow um, a, a more chaotic path. And I'm curious if this might be something I would recognize from that, them being angered about the logging in the area, and now that I also see a boar. So, yeah, putting the pieces together, you can discern that this is, is what some druidic fashions uh, create, uh, named a totem. Um, it is it is basically used to um, either thwart what's going on in an area or attract certain things to thwart an area. So um, having higher than normal intelligence, you can discern that uh, most likely the druidic faction in the area uh, put this totem here to attract the ankegs and put a halt to the logging here. Just as I thought I would deduce. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, well, let's wave them down non-threateningly. Do you share? Do you share that knowledge with us? Um, yeah, as my prediction. Okay. I, I I don't know for sure what druidic group this is. I just know that they do that, and that it would make sense to me, being that this is a logging camp, destroying nature for the benefit of people. If they're somewhat chaotic that they might do something like this and it matches what they would do on top of seeing uh i don't know hey. if it's evil or not but an animal hey moon like that <clears throat> yeah go put one of your mushrooms over like halfway between us and Ooh. the boar we may be able to reason with were you okay the being of higher intelligence but were you 
you, did you mention evil out loud when you were talking to the whole group? I don't remember. Chaotic, he did. He, didn't he said chaotic. Chaotic. I could, I could, chaotic. I could use, uh, I could detect evil to see if there's anything nefarious here. Uh, okay, better do that before I start throwing mushrooms. I don't want to waste any, my, my, you know. Okay, so Rogar casts Detect Evil. What's the range on that? That was 30? Yeah, I think I, most things are 30 feet. Detect Good and Evil? Right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Six tiles from center. Six it tiles. is... So he's going to get as close <laughs> as he can. All right, I'm with him about to put a mushroom down for some reason. I don't know where that ability is. It's probably under his... Uh, yeah, I don't know without looking at him. Yeah. Under his spells, are you looking at his actions? Ooh. Guiding bolt. So, oh, we're a normal, a normal... Is it a feature or a trait? Sorry. <laughs> no idea. Go for it. Whereas a normal boar would typically run away at these approaching fellas, this uh, boar does not. It it holds steady its position. And as Mock Cat or Rogar cast Detect Evil, um, he he tells you guys that this creature um, definitely sends uh, evil vibrations back to him. <laughs> Come here, buddy! Toss hey. it, toss the mushroom and back away. Hey, boar! That's a five gold mushroom he's about to throw at that thing. I ain't throwing no mushroom at this frickin' boar! Hey, boar! Come here! Come here, boar! Oh, no. I'm friendly! Look at I know how to handle you! Come here! <laughs> Why are you trying to handle not real animals all the time? What do you got? What do you mean? I just, I just, I'm using my excellent boar call, boar call to calm down the boar and help us in our adventure. <laughs> but he's an evil boar. Hey, boar. <laughs> I don't know what happens if we destroy their totem. It's gonna get mad. Okay, so where's your master boar? But it might send away the worm wings. Indeed. I don't know if anything. What did you do, Chad? Well, the twenty uh, for animal handling. Okay, it seems to have no effect. What? Dang it! One of these days, I'll have a roll that's good that does something. <laughs> yeah, it's it's hard to explain. Hold on. Uh, dang it! Now maybe I will have to throw mushrooms, guys. I don't. Know. This boar seems real evil. He doesn't want to be my friend. I think you're going to have to kill it. Okay, okay. as soon as you say that, <laughs> it breaks I'm... form, and a half orc stands in front of you uh, and go. begins to cast a spell. So everyone roll initiative. Oh my god! No what wonder. An idiot. No wonder I can handle the. <laughs> What a stupid idiot, stupid. Ooh! I should have. Oh, no, wait, never mind, that's separate. Ooh, ooh, good rolls! Good god, boys. Just fucking zap it. Okay. No, we want to talk. To you them. rolled a natural 20, Chris? Uh, Rogar, dude. Rogar. Kyle. Zorberg. Combat Muse. Yeah. You got mine? I rolled 11. And I will be right back before my turn. Um. You guys really can't. You wouldn't be surprised, I guess. Yeah, we were, were cautious. Of, you were cautious yeah. of the boar the whole time. Why they want to? Don't. I guess we'll deal. We'll figure. Okay, it out. so Rogar's first. Uh, Rogar, don't do anything rash. I want to talk to this being. Hundred percent cast sacred flame. 
Okay. I don't think I can roll with him. So it's a wiz. Oh yeah, we ran into that. I'm just gonna hit wisdom, I guess. Okay. Some some reason. So he's gonna make a wisdom saving throw. Trying to figure that out. Oh. Yeah, dex saving throw actually. Dex saving throw. Okay. Thirteen. Uh, ten. It fails. One d eight. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. So a sacred flame flies from the heavens and strikes this half orc. Um, it, it grazes its shoulder with a little burn mark, and it seems to hardly take a twitch at the damage. Oh. So all but. Oh, battle music. I hear nothing. Well, I guess I'll uh, attempt to slow it down. Okay. Why did my dice just... Yeah, this map's kind of weird. There we go. Fifteen. Fifteen hits. Z does it make a saving? Oh, you did. I thought you were gonna. Oh, okay. Ray of Frost. Okay. Six. So uh, it takes. Cold damage. It takes. Uh... So your Ray of Frost shoots right at it, uh, hitting its feet, and it is. What does it do? It's got half movement speed? Half uh, speed? Ten, 10 feet less than what it can do. Oh, okay. So you see ice form around its feet, slowing it down. Is that your turn? Yeah. So who has the totem right now? I think still Proxus. Okay, go ahead, Chris. <clears throat> what he said's a clue. <laughs> <laughs> you think? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Smash it so we die. I have a feeling it's gonna piss it off. We do that. Yeah, it will. It'll turn into like a bear or some shit. Is that what you want to do? Uh, is that what you want to do? Yeah. It's your turn. It's I... what I want you to do. <laughs> <laughs> I just menacingly look at her. You don't want to throw a javelin at it? She matches your stare. Go ahead, Moon. Oh, go ahead, Moon. I'm gonna let Proxus manhandle this. Throw a ninja star at it like you do to my students. What I'm gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> I think I have to ready the javelin, which takes a turn. Oh. Uh, again, was this one of your students? Nope. I don't deal with druids. Nineteen. Kazakh, 19. That hits. Six star, or damage from Ninja Star. Okay, so the Ninja Star plants right in, in her quadricep. Okay. So she is going to speak in Orcish. Um... Sorry, one second. Was that one of Remy's languages? I don't know, it's not mine. <clears throat> uh, sick, she's casting some verbal component spell. You guys are dead. Dang it! I was trying to stay out of damage. So she is going to speak in Orcish, holding her hands in the air, and above her you see a cloud, a dark cloud start yeah. to form. And as soon as she finishes her incantation, she slaps her hands together, and you see a thunder wave shoot out from her hands. Ooh. You guys. So everyone make a constitution saving throw. 
thunder damage. In that cone, the three of you. Um, what's it say? The save DC is probably on the character itself. Oh, okay. Uh, 12. What was it? So, Chris, you take half damage. Con, you said? Yes. Yeah, Chris takes half. That was Rogar's. Okay, so Chad so takes full. Chad takes full damage, and you guys take half damage. Okay. Um, let's see here. Did Moon get hit by Acid Splash before? Yep. Yeah. Oh, you're dead. So, uh, Moon, you take 8 damage. And you are pushed back 10 feet. I can't move me. You can. Oh, okay. Not my turn. Two tiles. Two tiles. Into the cattails. Um, Chris and Rogar take, or Proxus and Rogar take four damage and are not pushed back. I've seen that before. Thunder wave. Cause I'm gonna have to fall back. As he's um, clutched his burnt arm. What's that owl? <clears throat> okay, that's its turn. Uh, it is going to actually. I think the so owl's got. It's gonna run away. What a... It is going to retreat back to this tree. Okay, Rogar. Gonna get back behind this cover. You don't want to deal with him. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna and I'm gonna touch myself. Excellent. Roll a horny check. <laughs> Why is it not rolling? How do you roll? Why is it not rolling? Go ahead and roll. Actually, did you run back 30 feet? 20 feet. Yeah. Um, Would have been 30 if Kyle hadn't frozen its feet. We're gonna we're gonna risk it for the biscuit. I'm changing my mind because <laughs> I can't get that thing to work anyway. <laughs> Can't get his spells to roll. Do you have um, his character sheet up? Yeah. Did, didn't he say he was having trouble with the? Is he not using the Chrome extension? You should have that. So. Yeah. Make a charisma saving throw. I'm casting Bane. Okay. Uh, charisma. Ooh, natural one. Alright, so you now have Bane. After I you, uh, took a drop of blood from my gaping wounds. Yeah. So now, whenever a creature, Tara, that fails this, you must make a charisma saving throw. An attack or saving throw there. So when it's your turn. Whenever the target that fails the throw makes an attack or spell, the target must roll a d4 and subtract the number from the attack roll. So you're just debuffed. Okay. And then I'm yeah, hot. my rolls are working for Rogar. I don't know what's going mm. on with yours. Yeah, weird. 
I can do some things. I just can't do spells. Um, so that, oh, oops. So that'll end his turn. Okay. He's hiding behind that stump. Stop it. Oh, I will shoot three missiles from my hand at the druid. Okay. Will it reach? Yeah. Okay. Mark, you have 14 health. What happened to me? You got spit on by an acid creature. Is it acid damage or poison damage? Acid. Nine damage total. Okay, so your missiles fly out and, and one strikes the orc in the shoulder, the other in the other shoulder, and then one in the in the chest and it takes um, it just kind of brushes it off a little bit, but it's it's clearly damaged. Sweet. That's my turn. Go ahead, Christopher. <clears throat> Praxissa, Praxissa. All right. Tack roll. Uh, I can't even make move. a um athletics check. Athletic a Yep. Yeah. Am I gonna just like? Murder her if I touch her. <laughs> oh, oh no! So as you run up to this, uh, you you sink about what, two feet into the ground into what looks like a pre-made trap, and you are knocked prone. However, I am inspired. You actually have an inspiration. You didn't I do. The last fight. Well, no. Nope. Roll again. Okay. I didn't use it. Does it last indefinitely? Yeah. Until you use it. Nate. I thought I thought only Zorb and Remy got inspiration. I was inspired the day yesterday. Oh nice. You uh, saved it for this moment. Watch him make a second one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Okay, so you uh notice the trap as you're running up and definitely jump over it. Hell yeah. Now I attack their bitch ass. Eh? That hits? Alright, you know the spiel. Chipping attack. Strength, right? Yeah. Let me just double check that number. Ooh, natural 20. God damn it. I'm never going to trip anything. <laughs> Ugh. So there's Everything that. You're try you've tried to trip tonight has high strength, too. I've never tripped anything yet. At least that roll, uh, huh? What was that, a 14? Rerolling my one. Okay. All right, so two more, 11, 18. 18. Okay, so you swing your greatsword at her, and you find purchase on her abdomen, and your your slice uh, cuts real deep, and she's just bleeding profusely, but still standing before you determined. My turn is over. Oh, with my bonus action. There's a trap right here! <laughs> Okay, moon. Moon. Yeah. moon. Um, I'm bleeding pretty bad, so I guess from here I'll try to throw a ninja star, but it'll be with disadvantage. Okay. Let's see. Don't you hit me. Hold on. Wait. What am I doing? Each tile's five, so it's ten, twenty. Just go all the way, and then you got all the tile. Five. Uh, that's fifty. Okay, fifty, right? Yeah, yeah. Fifty-five. Fifty-five. As long as it's not over sixty. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, I rolled 22 both times. Okay, I guess I hit with long range dart. Yeah. Why'd you roll twice? Disadvantage. I'm out of range. I'm out of. There's. there's I thought you said 60. 20 60. 20 is. Oh, 20 60. Okay. Yeah, it's a short range. It's like a short range gotcha. ninja star. Okay. So how eight, much damage? Eight damage with a long range ninja star. Dang. Okay, so the ninja. I want to hear you grunt when you throw it. <laughs> <laughs> The ninja star whooshes at her and, and uh, takes one of her ears clean off. Oh, her and, ear. Uh, she is uh, clearly her looking a little scared right now. Stop her. Stop now her. Now is when you crush it. Now is when yeah. you make her submit to our questioning. She is going to... She's kind of hot. She is a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> Pretty good looking. She's going to uh, raise her hands in the air, again summoning the power of the storm that started ahead of her, and she's going to hold her arm out in front of you, Chris, all fingers pointed, and a bolt of lightning shoots from her hand. That is uh, meaner. Roll a dexterity. <laughs> Ooh, but you remember, you fuck. Uh, Dex, you said? Yeah. Time to get your wieners up. That was a good roll. What was your attack roll? Let's see. That's just to get the 13 DC that it probably has. Yep. Please, we'll take half damage. So you take half, half damage. Is there no hit die on a touch? It's not a touch, but it, it doesn't have you. That that was your save, so you take damage. No matter what. Yeah. Some, some, some spells, Chris. You just the enemy has to basically make a saving throw against it. Mm. If you don't pass the DC for that, then you get basically the effect on you. Well, I did pass it, but she's saying half damage. So yeah, so so you take half damage from whatever her damage roll was. So you take 15 points of damage. Oof. How much damage? It took off my headset for a second. 15. 15. That would have killed me. Yeah, dude. So that's unavoidable damage. That's interesting. Can somebody stream? I'm calling up your aunt for like a. Well, that's how saves work, so. I miss myself. I mean, I took half still. Yeah. So, so spells either have a to hit, like most of the ones I pick, or they have a save feature. Mm. Mm -hmm. You're hiding so, behind a tree right now, yeah. How far am I from. So, can. can... Either somebody's trying to stream on, or can you just explain, like, the... You're in oh. between... Uh, oh, Moon, Moon, you have to make a dexterity saving throw, too. He's you're... dead. No, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter you're... how damage kills me. You're six tiles away, well, from her. Did she use Call Lightning or Shatter? Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt, dang. What's the range on it? 100 feet long. Continuous Five damage? Feet wide blast. Ooh. So you're dead. Each man. creature in the line no. must make a dexterity saving throw. No, you said you pointed it at Proxus. That would be this way. Uh, you don't know Counterspell yet? So, does Bane affect M. that DC? Does and what? I, and no, that's. Bane, Bane would not. Bane is just disadvantaged. So, she, you, Tazic would have to. Well, it's a 1d4 on the attack roll, but I was wondering if that affects DC too. Hang on, I'm zooming in on her face to see if that's... I so don't actually... think that's... It'd be Rogar. Huh? Rogar would get hit. Yeah. Because it's He's... five feet wide. He's behind a tree. Five feet long. The tree's grounding lightning. Yeah, grounded. We're trying to save our lives at this point. Does it go through? Does it go through? Awesome? DM. 
<laughs> You're not touching it. I would say the I... lightning bolt with a five foot radius, it's Beep. gonna harm anything within five feet of that radius. So even if he's hiding behind the tree, the electricity would still reach him. <clears> so I didn't. So it's arcing through me, and it's going infinitely past me. For a hundred no. feet. It it usually means one tile set in that direction. It's Plus a straight a straight beam. There's no like the one one tile is five feet. Away. You know how lightning bolt works in Baldur's Gate, Chris. It's, it's it hits anything in that line. Is it chain lightning? No, it's just lightning bolt. Alright, anyways, you pick. It either hits me or... It, it so it passes it through me, me and the tree. I'll tell you right now. One sec. It's a 100 foot line. A silk of lightning forming a line 100 feet long and 5 feet wide blasts out from you in a direction you choose. Each creature in the line must make a dex saving throw. Creature takes 8d6 lightning damage on a failed save or have a smudge on a successful one. The lightning ign ignites flammable objects in the area that aren't being worn or carried. Good luck, those trees. They're on fire now. So, that to me says the tree grounded it and it's set on fire. It sounds like it hits everything, including the trees. Yeah, but then you could just like blast through walls if you have that spell. Hell yeah, yeah. but that's with one. It's a powerful spell, but they can only cast it a certain number of times. For this person, it's just once a day. Once a long rest. It's gonna kill him. Rogar? Yeah. It'll kill either of us. Uh... Ooh, lightning bolt just went through all sorts of rock and walls. I watched the video. Yeah, but I'm a man. Oh, huh, 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 huh. So, so, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. The rules for cover state that half and three quarters cover grant a bonus to both AC and deck saving throws. Oh, there you go. Perfect. It's still also, gonna kill him. Hold on, unless the, some spells specifically state that the area of effect spreads around corners. I don't, I don't think, think it says that. It doesn't, doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. So you get a bonus, but you still take half damage. And what was that? How much damage? 15. Was it? It's still gonna be 15 damage. Yeah, he's still down. So, so I should have a dex. I should have a blah 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 blah. I had I have a bonus to the dex saving throw that I make to do half half the damage. You have 14 health. Half the damage is 15. And oh, if yeah. it's full okay. damage, you might. Well, no, it won't total kill you. Cause your health's like 30 or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, it won't. Yeah, but he was hurt by the bug inside. No, I know. I'm just saying, either way, he's laying on the ground. Yeah. We're just trying to figure out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Your, it's not killed. Your, yeah, if you roll your saving throw. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Oh, boy. Oh, look at this. What now? What do we find? An obstruction must provide total cover to be not included in the spell's uh, effect. So you say. So if if I'm totally covered. That's a DM call. Looks like his knee is out. No, I would consider that full cover for <laughs> sure. I'm glad I put him behind that tree. So, so, yeah. so that's, there's a quote called. Clear path to the target. To target something, you must have a clear path to it, so it can't be behind total cover. If you place an area of effect at a point that you can't see, and an obstruction such as a wall is between you and that point, the point of origin comes into being on the near side of that obstruction. All right, so Zorba gets zapped. Yeah. <laughs> no. See, that's tough though because it's not really a wall; it's just a tree. It's cover. I think I was uh, thinking too much of the lightning bolt from like Baldur's Gate. Final yeah, call. Final call is DM. Is he in cover or not? Kazik, I would I would read through page two hundred four of the player's handbook. A I would say he's full cover. 
Except for his wiener that's sticking out. That's the Ettens. That was eaten already. He holds out his goblin wiener necklace and cooks the wieners. <laughs> <laughs> In the lightning bolt. Oh, if you wanted to kill me originally, go for it. Somebody will bring me back to life. Stop, stop trying to make new characters. I already made it. It's right everyone else. Nope. Give everyone else a turn. <laughs> am, am I am I alive or am I not alive? You're no, alive. you're you're alive. Okay. Is it my turn? Yes. Yeah. No, it ended his turn, right? Why? Uh, oh no no no. The... Yeah yeah yeah. It's his new turn, right? Oh, here you go. Hold so... on. I'm streaming now. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna turn on. <sighs> Trying to kill our. <laughs> I, I'm looking at more. I'm looking at other threads, by the way, and it's apparently this is like just one of those vague topics. Some people, some people are arguing that lightning bolts should be treated like fireball, but no. Fireball description specifically says it goes around cover they don't have that in the description but they're supposed to be roughly similar like there's no way i'd consider that even close well no five i can see line. it being close the five foot wide area a hundred feet long would be like it's a cylindrical even... thing so i mean i'm a gonna fireball. count it as full cover this in this instance a fireball would be all-encompassing all around that when I shot it here. Right, I, so the lightning would be... bolt would be like this down the entire way. So with it being only five... I don't see that. I see it being a tunnel that hits the tree, and it, and like that portion of the tree is going to stop that beam. Where a fireball, if I shot a fireball here, it would combust. Yeah, it would combust around it. It's a combustion. Combustion. Fire, fire would go around the tree. I I just think it's very different. All right, nerds. Let's yeah. test it out. Combust. Combust a nut. <laughs> Let's throw a fireball in real life and then. <laughs> I test the coil and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I I'll I'll just link the Reddit thread. There's an RPG stack exchange too, but I I, I don't know what call to make. I think it's up to Uh it, it's full cover. You don't take any damage. It, it, I think it, it's it, over, it, and I think you're supposed to be attacking. <laughs> well, th this is the thing. Some people say it. it, <laughs> it some people are arguing it's supposed to blast wooden obstacles and ignite it but some people are saying no if you don't have a direct line of sight it's but then they're saying well it's an aoe it's like uh... not an aoe that's stupid that's not even the right words i say the tree grounds it the tree should be on fire yes i agree with that it says it in the flavor text of the lightning bolt anything Where... flammable gets ignited okay. on fire yeah but Where... it the cover of the tree protected you but the tree's on fire okay so here's what i'm gonna do the tree takes the brunt of the damage you take four damage from just being in uh area of the close area of the lightning bolt that way everyone's happy okay so i'm at oh, oh! I'm not so... happy that people say it's an aoe i i yeah i, I would say that for player purposes yeah i, I don't know but all I'm saying is that person is retarded. <laughs> I, I wouldn't consider it an AOE either. Yeah. I would consider it a, a straight line, cylindrical yeah. <laughs> All right. damage. Rogar, do something. What can I do? Where Where is the enemy at? Chad, do you mind looking at the enemy for me? Yeah, they're I, on the other side of You can see everything. <laughs> they just oh, shot a it, it, lightning it, 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 bolt at you. Can I reach the enemy or no? I don't mm, think no. the distance. And... Proxus told you there's a trap directly behind him that you have to jump over to get to her. Okay. How about, about, about 30 feet? Chris, what, what's your health? The eight. How's the enemy looking? It, She's looking very rough. 
She's very scared right now. That's why she shot lightning at you. I see. Okay, I will then decide. Let me pull up. We gotta close the screen, pull up the character seat. I did a charisma roll for some reason. All right, hey, baby. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, blah, 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 blah. I will. Oh, this is tricky. This is tricky, boys. Yeah, I will cast. Say, uh, actually, I'll do guiding bolt. That's probably better. I don't know how much HP she has. I don't know if eight damage could kill her. Like, can you hit her? You're gonna do have we to want, step. Do we want to kill her? You're gonna have to step five feet out from your cover. Yeah, but do we want to kill her? She zapped me. I want her dead. Um, she, from what we can tell, she's only tried to communicate or speak orcish. I don't believe anyone in our group can speak Orcish, so I think we're killing my, her. Let me check check my languages. I can speak common and dwarvish. So kill. Him. Um I, also before you got back, you detected that she was evil. Yes. Gotcha. Alright, well, that's enough reason for me. Tazic <laughs> or Whoever's controlling my character, do you mind doing a D20? So, first, someone needs to move me out of cover and into line of sight of her. Okay. Within within 120 feet. So, I, I don't need to get super She's close. She's going to make an attack. Oh. Wow. Wait. Whoa. Oh, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Flat D20. Make sure you're not in. 18. That hits. So that plus five, because that's my. You're good. You're good. Okay, so then do a 46 roll. Oh my gosh, okay. Why does he have such powerful moves? I don't know. 16. He's a Tempest special cleric that does more damage oh. than a wizard. So every, meta, every meta I've game. Meta, 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 meta. meta. Time out. Every spell I've cast is just normal level 1 cleric spells, by the way. I know, meta gamer. Meta. So... Is um, that right? Uh, That's way too much damage for level everything one. Everything he's doing is way too much damage. He can heal, he can damage, he can tank. It's amazing. I love it. Yep. So, Meta whatever gamer. that damage was, and then she, the next attack roll made for until it's my turn again against her has advantage on her. She's utterly destroyed, so how do you want to kill her? Oh. Um, this is a... Let's see, this is a verbal and somatic, so I roll out from behind cover of the trees. You I'm roll. injured. I'm injured. My Maybe my butt is on fire from the burning woods, and I'm coughing, but as I roll out, I say, <clears throat> Lord, strike this hoe with your heavenly light. <laughs> Throw this thought the way. Yes, 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 Why yes, yes. Hope? Ooh. Zapper, you so you took you channeled the the lightning bolt that she used and threw it back at her. Okay, so she is dead. Da, 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 da. <laughs> so everyone in this encounter is okay, er, um seven hundred divided by. I think it's like 175 or something like that. What other spells did you cast, Chris? You said detect evil and good. And Bane. 175, yes. And Bane. Just in the future, just so you know, you can only cast prepared spell. I know you can't see my prepared spell list because I haven't ported it over. So that, that's kind of tricky. Oh, you, guys you didn't have that prepared, did you? No, but it's like you. There's no way you could have known. I'm like, I'm gonna view my character sheet and D and D Beyond. Mm. Might be why I couldn't cast it. Now I just used a, a regular just roll. Yeah, that's fine. Sometimes, like, 
I kind of hate the whole like prepared spell thing. Personally, I think it's pretty lame. But yeah, because you're already restricted by slots. I feel like outside initiative, certain spells should be castable. I don't know. Um. Yeah. So, what do we want to do about uh the? Just watch out for that trap. What do we want to do with this totem? It's the only thing stopping these worms from attacking. It's not a buggy. Or I mean, bye. Summoning. Summoning them, yeah. We could use them elsewhere. I don't know if it still uh, has power or that now that the druid's dead. I want to stick it in Captain Rainford's pants. <laughs> <laughs> What's that roll for? Nothing. It was just stuck there, so I rolled it. Uh, I walk I walk over to the flaming tree. I'll just get rid of it. I toss the totem into it. Okay, so the totem sizzles and pops and disintegrates. I check the body. Everyone make a perception check. Mm. Why can't I roll tonight? I'm gonna die soon. Okay, so uh, you hear down by the tents um, a rumbling sound. Oh god be, damn it! It seems to be fading away from you. Oh. Yeah, I was gonna say, dude. We have. I was gonna be like, do we have a boss now? We each have like four HP. I'm good. Yeah, but you always have four HP. That's why I'm not. So did they find anything on the body? I don't know. Moon's looking at it for mushrooms. Yeah, I'm looking for mushrooms and anything about why this person make might a be religion check. No, I don't know. I don't know anything Oops. about religion. I made an so. investigation check. So you you discover on this um, body uh, like ceremonial garb, like uh, it's got uh, clawed gauntlets that are in the shape of boars, and um, just some basic hide armor. Wait, um, it definitely claw. looks druidic in nature. Like fist weapons? Clawed gauntlets, like fist weapons, or yes, they but they are utterly destroyed from the battle. Oh. Um. Can we tell from here if there's a nearby cave or something this thing was living in? Nearby. No, no, you don't. You don't notice a cave nearby here. Okay. Um, um, did you guys make a religion check? I I, I can. Where is it? Eight. Nothing. Uh, sixteen. Okay, so you recognize the garb and the the boar, um, ceremonial garb as uh, this half orc. Being an anchorite of Talos. Mm, Talos. I had a barbarian friend that followed Talos. Talos! Talos. Oh, well, we might want to go talk to the. Uh... Uh, oh, uh, you know, uh, the Talos worshippers are are very, very evil folk. Uh, there must be. Must be some kind of shrine nearby, or else uh, they would not care about this logging camp. Probably should throw this uh, Talos stuff into the fire. Yeah, get rid of all the evidence of this evilness. I kicked the corpse over the ledge. Okay, well. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> dirty, dirty Talos worshiper. Alright. So there's no worms left. Let's check out this area. <laughs> Moon. Right. Moon, let him know he can come out. Hey, we, we killed the boar person. Hey! Hey! <laughs> it's getting pissed. <laughs> uh, investigate these camps. I'm going to do rolling investigations as well. 
keep okay, hitting, go ahead. Uh, hitting the door with my quarter stuff. Or I mean, uh, just continuous. Passive? Yeah. Okay, so you you guys don't notice anything. Um, you do see, uh, Proxus, where you are, you see three, uh, what looks like freshly um, dug dirt going from the center of this camp out towards the forest line. Hmm. And a hand. And a severed hand, yes. And then uh, upon closer investigation, you find what look like three uh, holes buried under some very loose soil. Um, and inside, you see other body parts in each of the three holes. Oh, my sheet just messed up. Yeah. What are you doing? He's trying to heal. No. What is Tazik doing? <laughs> trying to kill Chris. So I'm like, this is what would have attacked you if you hadn't destroyed the totem. <laughs> um, uh, I was like, wow, that's a, that's a total party wipe. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm still banging on the door for this to get up, but at the same time, I really need to go to bed. Were you just trying to say that, uh, that was where they drove off to? Yeah. Okay. Alright then, let's collect our retard and go. Which one? Uh, maybe we should stay the night in this camp. Looks pretty decent. Let's just take him back to town and then... Force him to go. Yeah. Alright, I'm good with that. What was his name? Anybody write it down? Toblerone. Toblerone! <laughs> Toblerone! Man, we killed the... We killed the Toblerone baddie! Toblerone Lester. Yes, yes! Come on. It's a Tova! Yeah, get out here! Okay. Roxas, as soon as he comes out, grab him. Knock him out. We'll try to roll. I'm gonna brave. I'm gonna brave the smell and oh look for valuables. God, what heroes! Oh. <laughs> you have to come with us to Fandolin. Let's go. <clears throat> I will gladly follow you here <coughs> anywhere. Yeah, much. We have to do a few things. One, we have to speak to your brother, and two, we need to find some uh, people to help you with the logging camp. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> You out of the room first. So as he's walking across the uh, room here, he does not see the hole and falls into the hole. And then what? But he was hanging out in this room before! He's gone. <laughs> what do you mean he's gone? Come on, no, do you follow. help him out? Of yeah. The hole? Yeah, sure. yeah. Does he have a okay. broken limb? Yeah. No. I, do I find anything in his holdout room? Just a pile of shit. <laughs> is, there, is there anything valuable in this that we should um, have not hang on, hang on a second here. Hang on a second here. Oh. What's he talk? Yeah, okay, I'll hang on a so second. So the cabin uh, clutter is just cluttered with logging equipment. Uh, leather harnesses, saws. Um, oh, nothing of value per se. Or yeah, that's pretty much it. I just saw this bookshelf and these bags of rations. Uh, okay, what was that roll for? Just a, uh, the smell. The, the charisma save was just actually for my spell. Yeah. good call. <laughs> you, Proxus needs to roll a Constitution save for going in there. I right? did. It was fourteen. Oh, good. Okay, I didn't want you to pass out. Yeah, so you've seen worse. My charisma save was to see if I can do, handle taking this guy all the way back to Fandolin. Or oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. You do. So uh, if you guys head back to Fandolin, um, so you need to take three rations out of your packs from when you left Fandolin to the uh, Etten encounter, from the Etten encounter to here, and then back to Fandolin. So it's three of all three days. total. Yes. Dang, I'm down. I'm getting down. I have four left. I did. So... I stocked up last time, but I only have six left. I like to have more than that. 
Are we auto traveling to Phandalin? We should make it so like we can't like when we do transition boards that like you say it costs a certain amount of rations or something. That's what that, I did. Three. No, yeah, I know. Like I, I like what you did. Is what I'm saying. Oh, okay. And it's like you can't leave until you or you take like huge penalty or something. Well, you'd get Damage. exhaustion. Exhaustion. Yeah. You yeah. can't make it back. You have to forage for food. Moon gives you mushrooms. You die because he doesn't know what mushrooms he gave you. It's fine, man. They're all good. You've got mushrooms in your bag that produce oil for machines. Yeah, those are the best, man. <laughs> <laughs> they really fuck you. Some okay. real good stuff. So you guys arrive. <clears throat> I gotta go to bed. At Fandalin. But what? Yeah, stuff in here. Yep. Are we going back to the, to the or are we going to the, the mayor first? We gotta take this dude to his brother and all that junk. Yeah, we gotta try to get him out of the house with his brother. That's the plan. By the way, I told you that on the way back. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're barging our way into his house. Yep. Because I'm chaotic good. And I want. I need to get in that house to help the people. I have to get in there. I have to. I wish okay. I was lawful evil, so I would just rip him out and kill him. Let me get Remy. Then make a new mayor because yeah. you're still lawful. I, I would appoint a new mayor. Yeah. yeah. And it would be the lady that's in charge of the mining stuff. I mean, it'd be whoever I, I feel could. like. She, or, I feel now, like if it's be. evil, then you'd want the Zenerum. Trans person. <laughs> Which person is that? The uh, the the one that you, the one that you went on one. Yeah, day. the one I had relations with. <laughs> Lenine. Yeah, her. She's not trans. How dare you? <laughs> you didn't hear me. I didn't see a wiener there. <laughs> no, I, I'm genuinely confused. She she's not. Uh, no. She's, she's just wicked manly. <laughs> She's just a fucking brute. She's a bodybuilder. Hobbit, Hobbit. Then what was that long thing I... Never mind. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Demon, is it you? Yes, they, these heroes have rescued me from the logging camp we were set upon by giant ants or something like that. I don't know what the hell they were. We found him oh, as yeah. the lone survivor. <laughs> Thank you. Um, um, I'm sure you, you made sure that the arrangements at the camp were okay. Uh, yes? Closed currently. I believe you completely, brother. Of course you would. <laughs> I love the uh, dice the, uh, the, the end's all booked up. He needs a place to stay for Would you night. say that? I just love the dice rolls, and then you're like, I believe. <laughs> um, he, he, he starts uh, shoving 100 gold pieces uh, through the, the porthole. One at a time. One at a time. Hey, right, there you go. Okay, brother, um, you can let me in now. I'm not opening this fucking door for anyone. But I'm your, I'm your brother. I know, there's, there's plenty of lodging at the inn. Uh, oh, thank you, no, thank no. you, heroes! Oh, no. I just spoke with the innkeeper. Whoa! The end is full. He's gone. No, the end is full. I'm done with this guy. <laughs> All right, everybody, ah. add, we, we split it up. Everybody had twenty gold. We'll save twenty <laughs> for Remy because he got some of it. Well. I you guess you so. your brother's house. Of course I don't. Do you know where he hides? He everybody hides a key to their house. Where does he hide? He, he, not not Harbin. He's he's a clever, clever fellow. How wield, strong is this to, Do you know how to wield a weapon? You're you're part of you're an adventurer now with us. Um. He's 
starts wetting his pants. I, I, I know nothing about adventuring. I, I can't do that. That's not, that's not me. We should have brought the idol here. <laughs> what, are you, what, are you, what are you gonna do now? What is your plan? How are you gonna help the people of Phandalin? I'm not here to help them. I was here to get lumber for the for Neverwinter and for Phandalin. I, I, I'm not here to help anybody. <laughs> Listen to me. I used to work the lumber. Now the lumber works me. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? You better hey. he has wisdom. I just squint at you. Okay. Make an intimidation check. <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted him to be an adventurer with this thing. I wanted him to die. <laughs> he he kind of cowers down and, and raises his hands. Well, I don't know what you want me to do. I hold out my hand. He looks at your hand, looks at you, looks at your hand, and then he, he, he shakily grabs it. And I smack it away and put my finger from my other hand into it. <laughs> he, uh... <laughs> okay, so he, um... Oh, oh, yes, yes, thank you for safe passage. Um, um, here's what I have. He hands you nine gold. All right. I just, now I just look away. <laughs> Don't say thank you. He, he, he presses his back against the, the house and uh, with his hands outstretched, and he just kind of keeps his eye on you guys as he slinks way off into the corner <laughs> and disappears a, from sight. Man, what a coward. I don't even know why we brought him back here. Well, I guess we should go have a drink and discuss what to do next. Yeah, let's go have a drink. Time on Dragon Balls. <laughs> Oh, Remy's waste. That was a waste. Which part? Bringing that loser back. Yeah, what a loser. Well, we might get something for reestablishing the wood tree. You got a hundred gold. I got twenty gold. Twenty nine gold. Twenty nine. You got nine. You just got the nine. Where were you? I scared it into giving me money. Oh, how's it going, boys? You just about ready. Oh, yeah, this guy. Forgot about him. I need a drink and some supplies. All right. No rush, but uh, we should probably head down within the next couple of days. What was his backstory again? I don't know. Orcs at the mines, right? Mm -hmm. No. No one even told me this dude's name. Yeah, it, I read anything it's about Don it. John, wasn't it? Yeah, Don, Don John <laughs> Rask. I remembered that all of my own. What, no greeting for Moon? Oh yeah, sorry, I was too focused on Don John. Moon! You look a little rough around the edges, Moon. Are you alright? Bit out babbling! Yeah. Here's an apple moon! Take Take it out Thanks, taking out bad guys, you know, killing them. And oh, stuff. Moon. Yeah, I'm tough. I'm a tough guy. I'm a... She swoons at you. Moon, why don't, why don't I help you with your wounds? I'm definitely gonna. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need some with bandage. Me, moon? I'm gonna need some bandaging <laughs> up. Hey, I'm round for everybody on Moon. Here you go, bud. I like how he's all about it because he's an addict. <laughs> <laughs> he throws a gold on the bar and, and just grabs a jar and then leaves. Like, grabs whatever, whatever jar. <laughs> Don John. Does he follow Bertha? Yeah, but he, grabbed, he, threw a, he threw a gold on the bar for everybody to get a drink. And then he went, and then he grabbed a bottle. He doesn't even look at what it was. And then he goes upstairs. Do you enter the room? Yeah, of course I do. Okay, roll initiative. Did, did you see my message, Tazzy? Yes. <laughs> I've been storing that piss for weeks. Wait, where am I? Where am I? 
Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm going to bed now. You gotta roll initiative first. For bedtime? For Bertha. Yeah. <sighs> I forgot I should have gave the Servius's pendant to uh, All right. Sergeant Salon. You avoid one point of exhaustion. Oh, good. So oh, we're, we're all healed up. Yeah, so it's a long rest. She was ready to go. Dang. All right, boys. I really do have to go to bed. No, you got to do campaign part two. Yeah, we still got an hour left. Nope. Nope. We could do town stuff if you guys want. I think it's a good place to stop for now. Yeah. Okay. I do want to check out armor and stuff. Yeah, I got some gold I want to spend. I need to buy rations and maybe I, maybe I do want to spend money on a healing pot. We forgot to look for ingredients while we were out. She was supposed to have mushroom. Why and with my, that. And my what? Yeah. Oh. Well, that's one of our favorite games of all time. Well, they didn't. Are you no, done that, recording? That doesn't count. <laughs> no, that's why I'm wondering if it's a remake with like additional difficulty and things like that would be cool. Oh, imagine random map generator. It's one of the most influential uh, strategy RPGs is getting a remaster. <laughs> and... Oh, it is it. Forsberg updated uh, Remy's picture. <laughs> our campaign. Where is it? In the D and D Beyond, he's yeah. gonna talk about the tactics over on his character sheet. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's an old man. Me <laughs> an old man, fucking haunted by ghosts and dead kids. <laughs> How come the biggest meta gamer in this is Mock? Yeah, Mock. Saying I'm a meta gamer, he's the biggest one. That cleric shit seems so OP. Everything he's got 